What's up, everybody? All right, give us a second. Gotta put an earbud in. Hi, Bluetooth connected. You guys can hear me, right? I was gonna get Twisted Bush in here for an interview, but I don't think he's gonna get in. Thing he's gonna get in, so we're just gonna jump into the race control. Alright. Hold on a second. Can you guys hear me? I am live right now. Fry is Fry there? Alright, well I'm live. Alright, well I just started the live, so. Yeah, we're live. We got, I'm turning the Discord camera on. All right, guys. So we're here now, I'm joined by K. Rainey and Fry Dog. I think Fry Dog is non-existent at the moment, um, but we should get him back in a moment. Nope, he's here. He is not AFK. Setting the camera up. So we're getting ready to go here. I'm gonna jot something down really quick. I like it. Yeah. All right, well, uh, we know you, you're familiar here with at least almost getting a win um, as you were here in, I believe it was season six, maybe, season five. Um, Side by side with fifth consonant to finish. Right here. Fifth gonna lose some time. In out of turn four here. If uh if they can get to the white flag, this race will be official. Fifth no, coast on the outside fifth. with a big run. That outside, side by side, one to go. A caution would end the race. Um, Watch for closing soon as they yes, go into turns one, one and times. two. Fifth on that outside is battling. Yeah, so. Some time here, but watch the runoff. Don't be the caution. Already be able to clear him. No. It's my best advice. Still side by yeah. side. I don't think no, there's fifth personally. coming back out on the outside. Uh, Rainey's Rainey's gonna gonna on the other hand, Rainey's gonna have to clear uh, here as they go into turns three and four for the final time. To me. Fifth constant trying to get to Rainey as they come out of four. Fitz on the outside's gonna get the Rainey's door! And it's gonna be finished of the year! Oh my gosh, who won it? Yeah, um let's go ahead and get into the uh the Rainey's four right moves. Uh, you know, so this is Vegas, of course. Um don't be surprised if someone gambles, you know, and races his race backwards like Gibbs do at uh, plate tracks. So um actually look for the fourteen and a five, you know, to make a splash, make a Roll the dice to get into the show. 
Um, speaking of the, the cautions you were talking about um, during the practice, um, I was also told that turn four is super tight in the draft. Um, they said the wall, the inside wall comes or the wall comes pretty quick to you. So uh, that could that could cause a caution tonight. We'll see. Um, of course, uh, don't be the caution. And uh, if you do lose the draft on the first run, I suggest short pitting. Short pitting pit window is 35 to 55. Um, me and Fry was doing some math, and you know we were doing our old, uh, our old athletic, uh racing uh, numbers, and uh, you know we feel like 35. If someone can pit at 35 and there's no cautions, I feel like that person could win this race. We'll see what happens. Again, I don't think there'll be a caution. Uh, the over-under on caution tonight was, I believe, half a caution. I'm taking the under on that tonight. I don't know about you guys, uh, but it just feels like the right move to me. I hope we have a caution. That's plus 3,000. That makes your, your parlay pretty good. But I would love the it. real question tonight is, is someone going to actually get a pull beside shotgun? Because that's really healthy. You know, he's got minus two total team points. Because he's got four straight pulls. I actually man, that's happy you brought that up. Because um, I'm gonna go ahead and mm -hmm. do my pull prediction for tonight, which is actually in a shotgun. I feel like I have to go with shotgun, <laughs> but let's hear it from you, Fry. Who do you have one in this pull? Man, it's gonna be a five. I know that someone's got to hit a five because they're all hitting low sixes. There's about nine of them, ten of them, eleven of them, twelve of them hitting sixes. DD King isn't here. He's one that probably could have maybe got a five to compete with shotgun. It's going to be between, I bet, closing fifth and shotgun. I think, oh man, I mean, you got to go with shotgun. He's hot right now. He's, you know, he's got something lit on there in his ass, I guess. Sorry. <laughs> what about you, Rainey? I picked shotgun last week. He came through for me, but that was based off of past, past races there. So you already know who I'm going to take here because of past races. I'm going to take Tenacious winning the poll, Tenacious winning the race tonight and get back on track. And actually that leads to my next topic. Um, my race winner prediction for tonight, Rainey just, I believe, took it. Uh, but I'm going with Tenacious to win the race tonight. Reason being, obviously he's a fast driver, but I'm going like Larry Mack. I'm going with the trends here. And Tenacious is undefeated at Las Vegas. He's 3-0 and all time. So I'm going with Tenacious to win it tonight and win his first race of the season, I believe. What about you, Fry? Man, that's a tough one. I mean, Tenacious is undefeated here, supposedly, in his career in it to win it. Fifth Constant's got a win here in a championship. You know, returning, but he hasn't won a championship here, but he's fast here. But I, I'm going to go with my dog, Closing, just for some reason. Closing puts it all together lately. He's hot, just as hot as Shotgun, I feel. I mean, it's going to be a good race. There's all kinds of hot one could be there, but as a rookie, but I'm going to go with – I'm going to go with uh, closing and hopefully a Ford, my old team. I mean, that's what I'm going to go with. One of them to win, but closing is the pick. Yeah, it's definitely a tough season to get a win and to win it. I mean, it is every single season, but uh, this season the competition has risen a lot. So it'll be exciting to see what happens. But over under, uh, uh, over under on cautions tonight is half a caution, um, so .5. Uh, you guys got the over or the under? Personally, I'm taking the under. Minus 300. I don't think there'll be a caution. I'll take the over. I think there'll be one caution, and I feel like it'll be a green-white checkered. If we're going off the of trends, if we're going off the of trends, it'll be a green-white checkered. But definitely, it will be at least one caution. I'd love to see one. What about you, Fry? Uh, I think it's going to depend on this first run and the first pit stop. You know, the cars aren't going to be where they want them. They're going to be all in their original presets, and it might happen here right off the bat, or it could might happen when they all go in together. If they all go in together, they're on top of each other. But if it goes through one pit stop, I don't see a caution. They're going to get spread out a little bit. All right, it'll be interesting to see. Um, mm -hmm. I think they've started qualifying. Not positive yet. Um, we'll have to see. But, uh, yeah, it's almost race time. Should be an exciting race tonight. Shotgun's hot right now. Tenacious trying to keep a streak alive. 
But I also have a feeling a rookie could win it tonight. Like, that's a hot one. Yeah, he's been fast all week in practice. He's been putting in a lot of time. Uh, Boyko's been there. Uh, Prodigy Swift hasn't really put much time in, but I think he just got crammed about 300 hours worth of information in the last hour in their little team party. So hopefully he you know, absorbs it well because there was a lot of information thrown when I just got home from umpiring tonight at him about this race. So he's got really good leadership over there with the three OGs. So I, I, I look at Prodigy maybe hanging. You know, he's fast. You know, Swift, Prodigy. ICJ's fast here. Fungus hasn't been on all week. I don't know what he's going to do. Rebel's been all right in these next gens. So I, I see 13 of the 14 cars could win this race, which is awesome for this In It to Win It series. All right, well, I'm trying to figure a problem up that I just discovered really quick. Uh, my Xbox game bar isn't opening, so i got to figure out what's wrong with that. So we can, so I can actually get in a party with you guys. I mean, it, if it doesn't work, I'll just do it a different way, so it's not that big of a deal. But I'm just going to look it up really quick. Yeah, I don't know. i got to turn off my volume. It's really on the, on the game. I guess I don't have an enable. Yeah, unless you guys want to hear it. Did I actually <laughs> disable the game bar or something? Yeah, I'm not sure. Might just have to use the Xbox app tonight, I guess. Might take up more Wi Fi, I'm not sure. Oh, and now the game bar's working. I just had to open the Xbox app, I guess. There, we're good. Alright, well, um, any other topics? You guys what do the viewers games? think? Who's going to win tonight? Yeah, there you go, sorry. Yeah, viewers out there, uh, what, who do you guys think is going to win it tonight? Let us hear it out in the chat. But, uh, you guys got any other topics uh, we can talk about here before this race gets started? Uh, the rookie of the year points between uh, ICJ and I'm a hot one. Kind of he uh, six points, seven points. He took Boyko's now kind of there too. They actually said Twisted Bush is first race of the year. He will not be considered a rookie, so he will not be in that race. He will be actually considered a rookie next year. So the rookie race is still up in the air. The points, team points, it's all about the Chevy's going to gain ground. Or are they going to lose ground? And then uh, Constant Motorsports sitting there trying to hold on by a thread, I guess. Yeah, um, another question for tonight. Uh, D.D. King not being here, how big of an impact does that make going to Las Vegas, missing a guy like D.D. King, who already has a win this season? Well, I don't know if Rainy knows this. Four of the five drivers point Rainy this year, so you always get to scratch one. So without having D.D., all four of those drivers point, and the other teams are going to have five and five. So it's a big thing. It means all four of those drivers better at least get in the top ten, I feel, right, just to, to uh, make some ground up. Yeah, you you don't want to finish lower than eighth if if you're you know trying to carry the team with a missing driver. Um, you know, the, the higher the finish, the better the better the overall points is going to look. Um, yeah, so I mean, at least somebody, some a couple in the top five will work. You know, top seven, all. Uh, just depends on this race, man. This is the first time they're racing with the new gen cars at this track, so we'll see what happens. All right. Well, um, we uh, I just looked at the points for rookies. I try you to know this. Um, did we lose Protege or something? I don't think Deeth put him in there because he actually got some twenties. So I don't know if his start eligibility because he's missed two of the first four. So he's still racing. Or. Yeah, oh yeah, he's in, he's 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 here. The, uh, yeah, two teams will have five, and one team will have four. So there'll be fourteen drivers tonight. All right, just making sure. He's actually, in, I think he's in the twenty-two. Prodigy, I think. No, yeah, he is. Yeah, it's he's a hot in the one. Twenty-two. And hot one's in the twelve. Yeah. Yep. Hold on, guys. I don't know why my camera does that when I open up Google. It's weird. It'll be back in a second. And then Twisted Bush will be in the nineteen, making his first in it to win it start. Yeah, that'll be exciting to see. I heard he's a league owner somewhere else, and then um, I'm not sure how good he is. I'm pretty sure he's pretty good. 
Uh, we'll get to see you tonight. I was going to get a pre-race interview with him, but he was already qualifying, I believe, or getting mm-hmm. ready to. I think he runs high side racing on Friday nights. And he's a Kyle Busch fan, so that's a plus. Wow. Oh. Well, I've actually liked Kyle Busch since he went to a Chevy. What's your thoughts on the car dr- Kyle's driving tomorrow? Did you see it? Mm-mm. It's kind of ugly. It's uh, it's black. What's the sponsor? It's, like, it's black and super like neon yellow. Uh, it's sponsored by some law firm company, and it's got some lawyer, oh. some lawyer's body and face on the hood of the car. I'm not a fan of it. I don't like it because it's got somebody's like whole face and stuff on the front of the car. I'll have to see if I can find it on Google. You have to go to his Twitter, I think. That was the best picture I could find was on Twitter. I can't find it on Google. Or on X, sorry. Not Twitter. Usually on uh usually NASCAR posts is like the schemes. Yeah. If you go on NASCAR NASCAR.com. Right. Um, I mean it's not the worst looking car. It'd look better if it didn't have somebody's face on the hood. In my opinion. <laughs> And the fire suit is pretty cool. I can't find the schemes on NASCAR's app. It seems like they don't post them as much anymore. I think, did you get an invite? Have they started? Maybe they're just doing Q, but they all went to racing Las Vegas. Hold on a second. I think they're just not qualifying. All right, I got it pulled up here. Let's see. No pressure on me tonight, right, Tenacious says? If this is the whole actual race and I missed the intro, I'm going to be a little salty. We might be getting in a little Oh, yeah. We'll see. Yeah, I'm looking at the car now. It looks looks like a a Corey LaJoy scheme from a few years back. (laughs) If this is not qualifying, I apologize for... um, Getting us in here late, but we're gonna see if it is here in a second. This might not be qualifying. Let me just check. Yeah, we might need to get in there. If I got an invite, then it's not qualifying. It is not. It is qualifying. It's qualifying. Unless they forgot. Oh, right, cool. Me, which is good. They started a little late though. It's fifteen after. 17 after. Are they all still in the green room? Because that's how you know if they're qualifying. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to check the stream. that They just started the race, so. We're about to see. Yeah, they're qualifying. So we got time since they just started to qualify. Man, there were some interesting college football games today and yesterday. With um, Colorado losing on a comeback game. What was it? Uh, USC. There was some interesting games, chat. Yeah, I turned that Colorado game off, and the next thing I look up in the morning, Stanford came back. Wow, that's well, pretty I, cool. I didn't Stanford was coach, coach out here at Folsom High School. It was pretty cool. That's nice. I turned it off, or I never watched it because it was three, 2 a.m. by the time it ended for me. Too late for me. And I'm a big Husky fan because my grandpa went to school there, so I know you like the Ducks, but I'm, I've always been a U-Dub fan. I want to say I'm a Ducks fan. I just have a Ducks jersey because they look cool. But see, I um, I wanted that game to go to overtime just for the entertainment, but it seemed a little bit rigged in my opinion. From what I watched, it seemed a little weird. Like when they called that catch incomplete on the field, and then overturned it in the booth. Yeah, I didn't see any football today. I was out the baseball field umpiring and coaching all day. Twelve hours at a ball field. Yeah. Out of the final four MLB teams, who are you rooting for? Which team? 
Uh, team from Texas and uh, the Phillies. I like Bryce Harper. I think he deserves one, and he's hotter than heck I'm right now. Being honest, I'm not really rooting for a team. <laughs> actually. I don't like the Astros. Actually, I want the Rangers. I'm not really rooting for a team, but uh, I don't know why. Because just since everybody doesn't like the Astros, I'm always fine with the Astros winning the World Series. So if the Astros got it done, I'd be okay with that. I don't really want the Phillies to do it though, because I don't like them that much after what they did to the Padres last year. But yeah, the Astros would be cool. I guess the Rangers would be pretty cool to see back in the World Series. And the Diamondbacks, I don't know if I want them because they're from the NL West, but it's got to be the Diamondbacks for the Phillies, I guess. I think it's the Rangers here. I think it's their year. They beat two of the best teams in the AL. You know, I think they were both 100 win teams that they beat, like, swept. Yeah. So I mean, I think they're like, they they got to be the hottest team right now. Got to be. They're definitely so, hot. I think it's just it's the Astros. And they don't even have the ground. And they don't even have the ground, bro. Imagine if they had the ground and, and Mad Max. And, and Max, it, yeah, that's yeah, crazy. You don't have those two. Yeah, but I feel like next year Rangers are going to be probably unstoppable. I mean, this year. If Corey Seager and Simeon and all of them keep it up, then yeah, they're probably they could go. But it's again, you got to get through the Astros, and that's been the toughest co- toughest challenge for anybody. Yeah. Especially the Yankees. But when you're hot, you're hot, man. Aren't you? When a you're Yankee, hot, you're hot. Bro. Aren't you an Astros and a Rangers fan? Yeah. Must yeah. Nice. So I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. I'm. I'm rooting for both. Whichever one, it really doesn't matter. I want the Rangers to get it. I want the Rangers to get it this time. Yeah, I want the Rangers to get it this time. Do you got any Rangers? Yeah, he sent me a picture from the Rangers uh, stadium watching the game one time, and it's pretty funny. He's all dressed up, looking good like he's at Vegas tonight. You know, he always looks good. (laughs) Oh, yeah, yeah, that was – and when was that? Oh, yeah, that was was my son's seventh birthday. We went to the Rangers game. I went to my first baseball game this summer, got to watch the Padres play. In Cincinnati. Nice. I was like, Xander was, because uh, Bogarts, there was specific fans in the stands that he like had come down to give an autograph and get a picture with, nobody else. But uh, I was like almost right beside him whenever he was getting that picture with him. So I got a picture of Xander super up close. It was pretty cool. Nice. But yeah, I got to see, uh, I got to see, Tatis didn't hit a home run. So, or, so bases were loaded, Fernando was up and he got a hit to, center field I thought it was gone so I started yelling thought he had a grand slam but it wasn't a grand slam but we did get to see a grand slam though Jonathan India hit one and then I got to see Machado hit two home runs and a soda home run so it was a fun experience yeah those are always fun yeah the Reds were pretty good this year so that game probably had a lot of hype oh, yeah. going on in it yeah, you know, a lot of people were crazy. there you know so the way it was was um we got the tickets in like March when the Reds weren't doing good so we got the tickets pretty cheap and then we didn't know anything about like what was going on that weekend and so whenever we went to get the hotel booked it was like there was the hotels in downtown Cincy were all very expensive or all the way booked and we didn't know why because it just like any other weekend until I figured out Taylor Swift's Eras Tour concert was the same exact Saturday that the game was. So Friday night she was performing. We drove through Cincinnati just to check it out for a second. While she was performing, and right after the Reds hit a walk-off home run on the Padres, so like the city was crazy, and we got to hear Taylor a little bit, which I don't really care to. It was pretty crazy though. And then the next day she was performing, so it was, it was pretty cool though. I don't know if you can see the yeah. picture. It's hard to see it, but that that's, you can kind of see Xander right there. The picture I got of him. Yeah. Old Taylor. Hmm. Dude, you should... So, when I was there, like, the amount of people just lined up on blocks outside of the Bengals stadium just to hear her, it was insane. Just to hear Taylor Swift perform from outside. Like, there are people on the Kentucky-Cincinnati bridge. I didn't see them, but um, I saw videos about it. She's definitely a rock star, man. Oh, yeah. NFL lover right now. 
Dude, all right. I love every bit of her. I know they're, they're pretty smart for it because they're using it as a marketing scheme, but, like, they're going overboard with it. It's getting annoying. They got to. Yeah, I know. They got to. They got to keep the fan. They got to keep the. the they got to keep her fans happy. Well, yeah, didn't they say that Sunday night football game was highest this. broadcast as the as the Super Bowl just because she was in the stadium versus the Jets? I mean, yeah, come on, that's cool. unreal. Against the Jets. It was also in New York, so you know. Yeah. Uh, like you, the game, yeah. the game the other night, Thursday night wasn't that big, even though she was there and it was in Denver. So. Yeah. No, it was in KC. Never mind. It was in KC. I think Thursday night's losing viewers because it's on Prime. Like, I went to Round Tail Pizza out here. It's a pizza parlor, and they didn't even have it yet. Everybody had it on their phone watching the game through a stream because they didn't have Prime TV on their t- main TVs at a pizza parlor. I was yeah. like, what's going on here? I watch it on Twitch for free. And like, when they're on Twitch and stuff, there's like 100,000 viewers in there, which, again, isn't a whole lot for an NFL game, but that's just on Twitch. So, yeah, it's... Yeah, that's how I was watching it, actually, on my phone, on the table, you know what I mean, watching the game. There was nothing special about it. It was just a boring game. I was watching the Braves and Phillies game instead. That game had some... I mean, if you got a, if you got a Roku TV, you can you can watch it. Yeah, I don't have a Roku. But, I mean... Yeah, I mean yeah, we could watch TV. it. I watched it a little bit. It's just... It, was an, it wasn't a very exciting game to me. I know the Browns. Yeah, I didn't even know I had it. Out. What were you saying? The Browns? You think the Browns are going to lose? A lot, by a lot. Not only are we playing the 49ers, but we got a backup QB. Uh, his name's like PJ Washington from Carolina. So I have no confidence tomorrow. Yeah, not starting. Uh, what was his name? Dorian. Dorian Thompson Robinson. Yeah. Yeah, you're not starting him? Cause he... Nah, he... Yeah, that boy, nice. They played him last week, and he he did bad. He did very bad. He looked, like, really shook. And he's super small and skinny, so it looked like he was scared to take a hit, in my opinion. Yeah, he's like a buck 70, a buck 80. Yeah, I would be too. Yeah, and so he, he didn't play very good. I don't know why people were so excited for him. I don't know what they were trying to expect because... from a fifth-round rookie. It's because of what he showed in the preseason. Yeah, against fourth strings. All right, they just got on with qualifying. The pool winner is, you guys can guess it, it's ENA Shotgun getting the pool tonight. Nice. Second place, uh, that's a hot one, so that's going to be interesting. Okay. Third place closing soon. Fourth place, uh, it's not showing up on this. Fifth place is fifth constant. Sixth place is lined cone. Seventh place, uh, ICJ. Eighth place isn't showing up. Ninth place is also not showing up. Tenth place also isn't showing up. Eleventh place is Twisted Bush in his first ever end of twenty race. Twelfth place, Gridlock. Thirteenth place, Protege. And fourteenth place, Idyllic Fungus. So they're going to get ready, get into their parties and everything for this race tonight, and it's going to be good time. So excited to see what happens. So that triple crown bet on our Vegas odds bet I already lost it because it was fifth pull, fastest lap, and to win. So that bet has not happened. Okay, I just got the list of the qualifying. So fourth is Tenacious. Uh, eighth is Deeds. Uh, ninth is – ninth is uh, – was it Boykoy Beat Boy You? Boykoy Beat. Boy Beat. And yeah, place. yeah, and then 10th is Rebel. All right, thank you. So, some exciting action tonight. You know, I know, I think the hype's cooled down a little bit, but it sounded like Rebel had some bounties tonight to go get back. Uh, one of those he already figured out uh, isn't a thing anymore with Deeds. He thought Deeds wrecked him until the clip came out the next morning, and he looked like a fool. Uh, let's just say it. Uh, Ribs laughed at himself for it. And then the ICJ one, I'm not sure if he's still got a bounty on IC, but I guess we're going to find out tonight. If anything happens, personally, I don't think anything will happen. Where did Lion Cones uh, qualify? Uh, I didn't hear Lion Cones words. He got sixth. He show- okay. Sixth. Yep, so. All right, this race is getting ready to go. I'm going to try to time the intro up perfectly tonight. Something I can never do. We'll see. Should we go to the party? 
Uh, we'll get there in a second, not yet. Whenever they t start the timer, we'll get it ready. I'll invite you guys and in. get invites to the game. All right, so shock another pull tonight. One times tire wear. Um, relaxed cautions. It's going to be a unique and interesting Las Vegas race with the one times tire wear. So we'll see how it goes tonight. I don't know if I'm a fan of the one times tire wear, but I guess we'll have to find out. Really going to have to loosen up these cars, I believe. With it being one X. Yeah, it's it's gonna be interesting. Strategy probably won't play a big part if it's one X, but it, I mean it could, I guess. So how many stops would that be if it's times one? Two stops. We're looking at a two stop race. All right. So I think Fry did the math. He said he said forty seven, forty seven, forty seven. So. Well, Something I'm going to expect because we've seen it earlier this season in a relaxed caution race that was super entertaining. It looked like it could be like that the whole race. And then a couple guys wrecked. No caution came out. More guys wrecked. No caution came out. We could see that tonight. But we're going to send it to the intro and we'll see you guys on the track. Oh, we got racing skill. Oh, the one at it. Oh, the 20 got him. Oh, wait. Oh. I see still got him. Oh, yeah. 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 Any shock and wins it here tonight. I'm walking with Brian. I'm on these beats that I finished in the beam. Ain't got a reservoir seconds I can spin on your tweets. Think I got a ton of patience when we tested the seat. I undertook a mission with impossible eyes. I can't cruise with no time. Uncles, I'm obviously not easily boxed. That's why they be asking what do I rock. It's Tino Ranga, Tito Tonga, and I polish the cops. Oh, yeah. All apologetic with my fanatic, don't fear. Metal at the team, there ain't no pedestal here. It's real. We don't do a pity instead of God. Yeah, but we nice right here, cause we only. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the In It's Win It Racing Series race tonight at Las Vegas, race number four of the season, I believe, possibly five, but we're getting ready to go here. Eni shotgun on the pole, and we are officially underway at Las Vegas here for Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We got Rainy Fry with us in the booth really quick. Uh, right before we cut to the intro, Rainy did make a mistake. He uh, said that he had the fuel numbers wrong, I believe, but uh, he fixed it as we were leaving. Sorry. Had to fix the audio, but he fixed it as we were leaving. But anyways, we got Fry and Rainy with us now. You guys got a copy? Yes, make sir. Sure my audio works. Fry, can you talk really quick? Yeah, I'm here. Just watching the race. Trying to get Joel in to watch. Alright. Did you get an invite, Rainy? No, I did not. Uh, I'll get you really quick. Uh, there's a lot of good racing happening here early. These guys are getting crazy already, and I already see Twisted Bush making his way up there. So keep a lookout for that. Gotta find your name. It looks like the like closing's already kind of got to the bottom and out in front. Gets up in front of fifth. Fifth's got the second. Hot one's third. Shotgun's fourth. And here comes Tenacious on the bottom below shotgun. Going into one. Yeah, we got a lot of good racing here right now. It's looking crazy here early. Uh, Boyko Beat starting to make a move up here behind Line Cone. You got D's on the bottom below Line Cone. But Twisted Bush making a lot of ground here early. He started 10th place. He's already up to 5th place. So we'll see what he does in his first ever in its win at race tonight. Four. Yeah, the key here is don't lose this front pack, and everybody looks like they're kind of all still here. No one has made a mistake and kind of lost this front group. Everybody's under a blanket. 50, 14 cars. Looks really good racing here. They're yeah. going to probably single file out. Shotgun's already back up to... Looks like he's trying to make a move for third. Last car right now is Protégé, so he's going to try his best to stay in that draft and 
try to not be the last car anymore just to be a little safer uh, here early in this race. He's going to go below the six car of gridlock right here as they go through three and four and cross on the start finish line here. As they're side by side here in the back. Tenacious just got around shotgun for fourth. Two teammates. Looks like is behind time. shotgun. A little bit of contact in the back, sorry. Dillick Fungus here in the middle. I'd love to see a Dillick Fungus get his first win. That would be something as they get lined up here down the back straight away. We're looking at Ian Shotgun right now. Twisted Bush looking impressive here. I know it's only a couple laps into the race, but he's gained six spots already, and this race has just started. So he had a really good restart. Again, excited to see what he can do tonight. But, uh,. Really quick, guys, let's look at this stat about Tenacious. Um, coming into tonight's race, Tenacious, the beard man. Is he the driver to beat? Uh, he's undefeated here at Las Vegas. Uh, does he keep that streak up tonight is the question. And uh, I, I have him keeping it up tonight. I have Tenacious winning this race. Um, we'll see if he can do it. It'll be interesting. You know, what else is interesting is the fact that... Well, all right, really quick to everybody out there. I want to apologize for what I was saying about Twisted Bush. Uh, it probably sounded dumb because Twisted Bush did not gain six spots. The eight car is actually Tenacious, sorry. Twisted Bush's logo is uh, the eight car, I believe, so I got it mixed up. But that's Tenacious in the eight car running in fourth place or fifth place where he started the race at. Or fourth place, I think, sorry. Yeah, Twisted Bush is in that 19. Looks like he's uh, third from the back right there. Yeah. My mistake, my mistake. Do, do we got Rainy? Yeah, Rainy, you there? Yeah, Rainy's here. All right, just making sure. It's been pretty quiet these first few laps of the race. Uh, so Working really quick, on some notes here. Really quick, Rainy. Um, I know we had you do your uh, four points in the pre-race, but uh, if you'd like to, uh, can we hear your four points of the race? Uh, four keys to winning it here? Absolutely. One second. All right, we'll give Kate Ray any a second to get those. As we're looking at the fungus, leader of the race right now is closing soon. Who Frydog has winning it tonight, driving that 10 car that Frydog has gotten some wins in before. All right, so here's uh, Rainey's four right moves. Uh, so this is Vegas. Don't be surprised if someone gambles here um, and races this race backwards like Gibbs uh, usually do at the plate tracks. So look for you know the 14 or the five here to make a to make a gamble and roll the dice here. Um, as you can see, they're kind of getting spread out. Um, turn four is super tight in the draft. It's probably the reason we're seeing them all fan out the way they are. Um, make sure you don't overdrive it here. Looks like the three is getting under the nine here. Still most of single file though right now. If you lose this draft on this uh, first run here, don't be afraid to short pit around 35. 35 laps is when the window opens. As you can see, the 19, the the, the, the 34 car. Um, or the 22. Car, 22. All right, well, good and luck. don't be. Sorry, what were you saying? Oh yeah, and it looks like uh, it's like the eight, eight is coming, going to second place here. All right, so we're getting a little bit of side by side shotgun and fifth constant side by side right now behind the eight car of Tenacious. He's trying to keep that streak alive, and I feel like Tenacious might be getting in his head a little bit, knowing he has to keep the streak or knowing he's gonna try to keep the streak alive tonight. Um, don't know if that's gonna affect him at all. Hopefully, he doesn't let it affect him at all. Maybe for the bits fry dog. But uh, we'll see what he can do tonight. So that's a hot one getting a run here on the outside with Dirty Deeds trying to pass Tenacious and Shotgun. Fifth constant gets in front of Tenacious and we got some runs coming now. And then my last right move, don't be the caution. For the last five races here, we race an end to win it has ended in a green-white checkered, which is what I'm assuming will happen tonight based off of the trends. Well, the thing with the trends... Um, you said four of the five, correct? Yes, sir. I'm going to guess that that one that wasn't a green-white checkers was last year. Am I right? Yes. You know? And so those trends tell me it's not going to happen tonight because four of those five times that we did it, there was strict cautions. 
and then that one time that we didn't do it, it was relaxed cautions. We have relaxed tonight, so personally, I think that there's not a green white checkers, but um, I guess we'll have to find out. Should be interesting to see. Uh, these guys are looking good here early, though. Nobody's wrecked yet. Again, still early in the race. Um, tires haven't worn down a lot yet. We'll have to see what happens, though. Hey, Randy, I got a question for you, being an Intuit veteran and multiple winner in this series. You know, they practice quite a bit every week, and they, they practice for all these different situations. But on Sunday, it's a different ball game. Can you explain to us how, like, this Sunday race is just a little more, I mean, it's just unreal, right? It really is. During practice, you, you're you just trying different things to get some speed out of the car, but there's really no cautions that are happening during those practices. So you don't know what exactly is going to happen on the Sunday because here it could it could be a caution fest or it could be no cautions the whole race. And, you know, maybe in the practice race, you didn't run as many laps as you would green as you would during a race. So you really don't know how the car is going to respond 30, 40 laps into a run. So, I mean, basically, I mean, you got to you gotta practice how you race or you'll never know what happens in the race. We got a little bit of lag coming from the 14 car of Dirty Deeds here. Uh, I just heard him say, because I just saw his car lag, and I also just heard him say, asking um, my mom to turn her phone off because uh, he's lagging here. So, not good. Uh, we've been having a lot of internet issues for some reason. Makes no sense because nothing's really changed with it. Just random internet issues, I guess. I don't know what the problem Looks is. Looks like we got two groups of cars here, actually. You know, this front car, even the shotgun pushing bullet code to kind of keep them up in there in this battle. And then you got the next five cars or eight cars or whatever. So closing is broken away, but there's looks like there's two packs now of cars that are actually racing with each other. Well, if I had to guess, Deeds might end up falling back to the second pack due to the lag, but there's a chance that doesn't happen. Uh, I'm rooting for him here. Um, but really quick, uh, well, Closing Soon's in the lead right now. I think it'd be a good time to show what he decided to post in Discord earlier. Um, closing Soon is locked in tonight. As you can see right here, it's time to lock it in. Um, so he's locked in right now. Still early in the race, though. Um, definitely a strong contender for this one, though. Fry, do you think those guys in the, in the second pack are saving? No. I think they're just racing too hard and one, and they didn't get around the car they needed to get around. They lost that front pack. It's all about if you don't think that car in front of you can help you stay up there, they're gonna he'll, he'll take five or six with you. All right, well, single file racing at the moment. We got a couple guys trying to make moves. Not many, though. They're just in line racing around right now. No need to make moves at the moment. Um, they chase down closing. I'm going to go see if there's anything happening in the radioactive motorsports chat right now as we speak. They're pretty quiet. So it's eight cars with six cars, so no one's actually lost any of the kind of the cars they need to lose. There's no one like a half lap back right now, so everybody's still kind of hanging where they need to hang, but this front pack is pulling away a lot. These eight front cars are pulling away from those six. I say almost a half a football last lap, almost. Yeah. I mean, they're get they're pulling. Well, we have three of those, or um, right now we have, let's see how many, um, two of those guys, three of those guys in that front pack are from Radioactive Motorsports. We'll get a little bit of radio chatter from them. Uh, they're pretty quiet on the radio, but there's a little bit going on. Let's see if there's anything at the moment. Yeah, they're just pretty quiet at the moment. Man, they're stacking up up here a little bit, though. Deeds and Shotgun, Boyko, just for a second. But looking pretty solid. Running single file at the moment. Definitely don't want to be the last two cars in a train like this. Well, at least Deeds is in the back of it right now with the lag we saw. Uh, if he was in the middle of it, that'd be pretty dangerous. But I haven't seen lag from him in a couple of laps now, so that's a good thing. The only reason I say that is because a huge checkup will cause you to check up and you'll lose a drive just like that. As yeah. you can see, they're starting to they're starting to lose it now. And shotgun, yep, shotgun indeed, like you said. Those guys losing the draft. Um let's see if shotgun's able to catch it. I don't think Deeds will be able to catch it. Uh well, shotgun looks to be falling off. I don't think he's gonna catch it. He's trying his hardest though. Oh, he's gonna catch it. He's trying.
All right, so we are 24 laps into this race now. Um, again, only need about two pit stops tonight, I believe you said earlier. So yeah, so we should be. So the window should open up uh, in about 10 laps. 10 laps. About 10 laps, the window should open. That math doesn't add up. So if you pit, if you pit on lap 35, you pit on lap 35, you come out, it'll be 36, of course, once you cross the line in pit road, and then you come back 50 laps later, you come back on 86, cross it at 87, and you just have to go another 46 laps, 47 laps after that. So that's why yeah, I said it's it, it, Yeah, it's two big so, stops and then only like 30 laps. So oh, when are you okay. going to take the 30 laps? Yeah. If you yeah, go, exactly. if you if you run out the tank now, if you just if you just don't run out the tank, forty five forty five is what one thirty five. Um, ninety. Yes. So yeah. you'd be looking so it's at almost forty five forty five forty five is what is what a lot of people probably thinking if you're if you're up there in that front. Well, we got some action going on here in the front as we speak. Actually, I, I saw Boyko make some contact with uh, it was either Tenacious or Shotgun, and now they're all getting three wide and two wide right now. They're three oh, wide for the contact. lead as we speak. Three wide, fifth constant on the bottom. Hot one drafting with his teammate. He's going to move to the bottom with fifth constant here. And we have side by side for the lead at the moment. And they're still side by side. As we yeah, this right here might help the back. If they if they run side by side, two and three wide here, This if that back single file could help them. I don't know who's leading that pack. Let me go back and see who's leading that back pack. This is 22 par. Tenacious can set up the track there for a second. He's going to get back in front of Hot One. And we're starting to calm down a little bit, but we got side-by-side -side action with Shotgun and Hot One at the moment. They're going to go three wide here out of four. Oh, Hot One got pinched. He's going to make a little bit of contact with the eight car. Here comes Deeds. And Deeds side-by-side -side with Tenacious now. We go here to the battle for the lead between closing soon and fifth constant. Side by side right now out of turn two. Line Cone trying to go to the bottom with his teammate Ine Shotgun here for the lead. He's going to slow down too much right there. See if he gets a run out though. Line's going to make a little bit of contact with fifth constant. Closing into the wall. And now they're three wide for the lead again here at Las Vegas. Can Line Cone clear? Closing soon as Deeds goes to the outside now. They got some good racing going on up here at the front. Still three wide. Oh man, Deeds almost wrecked it. He got a little loose up there on the top it looked like. And Closing soon getting a good lead now all of a sudden. There also could be a point right here in this race when we get two thirds into this run is that higher preset are they going to start getting a little looser maybe. So, I mean, I don't know if everybody's running the same preset, but uh, preset 9 don't work here. It'll be fast, but it just doesn't. Unless you get an early pit stop to adjust on it. Tenacious getting passed by Deeds right there. Deeds above Shotgun at the moment. Fifth constant up there on the outside as well. How's that highlight going to work tonight? What lap are we on now? Uh, I think we're going to be going on to about... I'll check here in a second. I'll tell you how many there are to go. I think we're about like lap 31, 32 probably. Okay. We're looking at 104 to go, so we're at like lap 31, I believe. Hey, can we go into a constant motorsports chat? Because isn't he the only one up here in this top eight? Does he have any teammates up here? He's racing against everybody else, huh? I believe you're right. We'll go over there and see. If... Yeah. Well, I guess we can't do constant motorsports. They, none of them are in the Discord. We got full throttle and we got radioactive, unfortunately. Just those two. So no one's from Constant Motorsports in there. No, I. Oh, that's that's sad. I heard they have a loud chat. Huh, they <laughs> do. We're checking on full throttle really quick. They got a couple guys up there in that front. A few guys actually, I believe. See if they're right talking at all, or if they're just silent. As they're starting to get single file again in this front pack. Seals would have been the lead in this pack. Oh, now, lag washed. bump out of 14. Punch to 12. That's not good. If I said work with us, instead of trying to pass, we might be able to catch that other pack. Oh man, Ribs showing some frustration with Icy here. Leave him a hole on the bottom, even if he can't fit his whole car in there, he tries to fit it there. And we got Line Cone going for the lead right now. 
Blind cone trying to get it. See if he can. But yeah, Rib's not happy with Icy at the moment. You know, they had problems last week. That three car is super loose. And now Shotgun trying to get up there to the lead. Fifth constant also there. Line cone leading at the moment. Is there through one and two. And here comes Shotgun. Can he do anything? Closing soon fell back big time after getting passed by Line Cone. Probably no panic though. They're very early in this race. That I second know. pack has gone way closer. They're starting to actually do good. Yeah, they're gaining this a might, lot. You know, if they're too wide up here, that yeah. Yeah, and they're staying too wide right now. Dirty Deed's gonna be up to third place at the moment, trying to pass Line Cone. They're side by side, and now he's gonna be up to second place. Dirty Deeds trying to take the lead despite the lag. Risking it all right now. He's gonna clear Line Cone for second place as they exit turn two. Utilizing that high line there. It was beautiful See the way he took it through there. Oh, he's gonna have a run here. Oh, he came back down. It's user in the chat. Thank you for tuning in. He says, Icy tends to force the situation, unfortunately. Yeah, Icy's made a little bit of, I wouldn't say enemies here, but uh, a little bit of guys that have upset him, but he's been a solid racer when it comes to getting good finishes, I believe, so far. I don't know. I, I think he's been solid so far. I mean, he's just the kind of rubbing his racing kind of driver. Yeah, he, got, he got a top two at uh, Phoenix, though. That's pretty good. I think it's just a style of racing. People don't like him, but he, in my opinion... He seems to be a good driver. He can get that other pack is coming. Right now, as a rookie, he's, he's sitting sixth place in average finish this season after Watkins Glen last week at 7.5. And yeah, that backpack is trying to get there, and they are doing it pretty good so far. Alright, so the pit window is here. Let's see if we get any takers here soon. Man, got some good stuff going on here. Hot one going below closing soon. He's going to clear closing soon. And here comes Boyko also below closing soon. Trying to get him. Fifth constant your leader. I don't think anybody here short pits Randy because that second group is close enough and no one's made a mistake to actually lose this kind of pack in a pack, right? Everybody's got a draft right now. If I was if I with that second pack closing in, if I was in that second pack, I would have pitted. Because I could have made that time back up with fresh retires. You think you can by yourself? Yeah, with fresh tires, yeah. Definitely. Right, Come on, well. give me a give me a give me a lap a lap uh a lap time from Deeds here this time by if you can. Uh, let me see if I can. I'm not sure I can, but he'd have to be up on his thing. Oh. Oh wait, I might have a chance. Oops. No, I can't. Or maybe see what closing's running. Can we pull up closing stream I and can. catch it? Yep. I can. It might like they qualify to five. I'm sure Shaw can hit the five. Everybody else is hitting the six. I bet you they're running thirty one me, ones and twos and threes right now in this draft. Thirty in. Let me I mean they I'm say there's not much five. fall off, right? It just starts getting loose towards towards the end. They ran a six uh shotgun ran a six forty six qualifying. I'll let you guys know next time by what closing run what closing runs this lap. Right here. Oh closing got really loose back there. He almost wrecked it. Closing just ran a 31.630, but he got really loose at the end. He so they lost right the there. second. I mean, that's the front pack, so they're all probably running similar right there. I don't One know second. how Closing didn't wreck that thing. That was crazy. So what do you think, Frau? Fresh retires maybe a half a second faster? A lap for what? I think laps, it's this maybe? pack, Randy. These eight cars together are, are, are going to be... Faster than one car by itself. He, maybe after ten, maybe five, ten laps, he might get point, point two, point three, or a half second. You know, if you're going early right now. But I think this, it's it's the group. You got to have a group. I feel. Shock. I'm trying to go for the lead here. Um, not sure if I would want to be battling for the lead right now, especially with the backpack coming and trying to conserve tire. Maybe just a little bit. Uh, maybe not early this early in the race, I guess. But they're side by side for the lead. Banging doors right there. Shotgun is going to be your new leader. Fifth might just give it up to him. 
And he is going to. So shock on the new leader here at Las Vegas. We'll go to Radioactive Motorsports, see if they've got anything. They've been pretty silent so far. Something you don't hear from them a lot. Fucking cone. Come on, bro. Oh. <laughs> Not anymore. Perfect this time. I'm wrecking loose. I am clenching my ass. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> They're definitely running eights and nines. Definitely running eights and nines. Having a tough time. Yeah, they haven't put adjustments in at all here. And also, I know this game will screw you. Who's going to get a 15 4 and a 16 2 and just break up this pack? Which is kind of, I don't like. I always oh. thought there should be a mini game in Pit Road. Deeds. You know? Holy. That's, that's, crap. I don't know how you Deeds. wreck it. That all started from Cone not hitting the bottom. <laughs> this is so annoying. <laughs> I got room. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, this guy's just right. going at it right Good. now. Just don't lose this pack. Fine. Stay away from pit road window. Let's see is if we can get that replay. Pit road, window is. pit road window is open, but look at this replay from Deeds right here, guys. Dirty Deeds right there gets super loose, somehow saves it. Crossed Looks like radioactive side. might be pitting this time around. I don't know. They did say pit road's open. What, Let's see if there's what lap oh, that's is this? What they said. I, I heard them. I uh, don't have an exact lap at the moment. Oh, uh, uh, there's 89 to go. Gridlock just said he's coming in on lap 50, so. 80, 89, so what's that, Fry? So Grid's saving more. There's 135 in the race. 47s, so they're coming, to, they're coming to lap 48 now. Uh, Grid's coming in, like, Grid's not coming for a little bit. There's 135 in this race, right? 34. Yeah, 134. Uh, so Grid will come in about a lap or two. And yeah, so. And the rest of the night, too. See. Yeah, it says 61 laps when you go to the, when you go in, but it's kind of like Texas. These guys are running so fast that it lies to you. You lose laps in, in, in running these packs. Interesting. Yeah, it's like these next gen cars like to do that. It's got to be confusing, but fun at the same time. All right. So I mean, see, see all these guys Texas. single filed back up, and now they're kind of the second pack didn't get to them. I thought that second pack was going to get, but. Since they weren't racing now, they kind of are holding the ground. We'll see if we have any takers this time. Oh! Right. Wow, Tenacious gets in the wall. Almost sends Fifth Constant to the apron. That was close. Clo too close for comfort. Nobody's going to pit this time by in that front. Uh, do we got any takers in the back? Oh, we got two coming in. We got two coming in. The 22. Who's that? In a second. The six car. Twenty-two and the six. six Twenty-two and the six. So grid and prodigy teammates from radioactive are coming in. Alright, and then we got the other guys coming this lap for radioactive. Just heard it from Deeds. So at least Deeds is. I'm guessing all the radioactive guys will. And we might see everybody come in. We'll see. The ten the ten to twelve. Yep, all the radioactive. And the fourteen. Guys. They all come in right there. Make sure they get in clean. You do get a lot of time by pitting earlier. Now, if these other cars are going to go 55, 57 or something and make the last stop shorter, but right now they're all on another stop and they're going to be good. They do the exact same thing they just did. Look at this replay from a couple laps ago. Tenacious. Man, he almost wrecked it. Could have been a caution because that would, probably would have been the big one here at Las Vegas. You can see right here, Tenacious is going to get a little loose. Hits the wall. He didn't even get loose. He just got in there way too deep and hit the wall. Almost wrecked it. But he held on. Leader's, leader's staying out. He's going to stay out for a while right now. All staying together is. So. The is Shotgun guys. streaming that? Because earlier I saw him streaming the Stone Cold race. I was wondering if we can see his, you know, stream, what he's doing, times and stuff right now. I don't think he has his stream up, does he? The five cars coming in. The radioactive guys pitted early. We'll see if it pitted earlier than everybody else. Uh, we'll see if it works out for him. Let's see the nine, the eight. I think that's the three. Yep, the, the nine, the eight, the three, the nineteen, the, and the one. Or not the nineteen, sorry, the one. And the five all came in this time. 
So all teammates for full throttle outlaws. It's like the 11 is still out there. It's kind of weird that we're running this like a restrictor plot plate. Like it's Talladega or something. Yeah, you have to have teammates to make moves here, they said. One car can hold off one car in the front. You need teammates to get by the leader. Toyota, you at the pit. That'd be the constant motorsports guy. I see. I see closing deeds and hot one probably gonna have a little bit of a gap here after this you cycle. This, you think this yeah, eleven is going for it, Fry? I don't know what he's doing. He's gonna what? He's gonna go try to go 60, 60, 120, and then only have to go what, like 14. I don't know. That last stop maybe be a two stop, a two tire stop. No tires. Yeah. I don't know. No, right sides are burning too much. I, you, I don't think you can take, you can't do a gas to go after you've ran almost. He'd have to go 60 to 60 or 58 to 58 to do a one can, two tires. Well, see, them staying out this long, one thing it is doing, I mean, they'll have fresher tires coming out of their pit stop, but they're also letting the radioactive guys and everything catch onto them before they even get to the pits. So we'll see how it all sorts out. It looks like uh, Shotgun is still, he's back looks up. Looks like the 11 coming guys. in. Yeah, 11 coming in. Yep. So I'll probably send in all the constant guys if I had to guess. Yep, here they come. Got the 11, the 20, looks like the 19. The shotgun must have pitted with the three radioactive guys because it looks like it's no, closing hot one deeds and shotgun one, two, three, four after these cycles. I feel that's the lead. Shotgun is there, but he didn't pit it with them. He pitted with his teammates, but he somehow cycled himself back up there perfectly. But he didn't stay out enough to actually be way behind him. I feel no, he didn't. Did you watch closing is going to come out in front of a uh, constant motorsports? Let's see by a lot. To find 11's out. still in. 11's coming out. They're crossing start finish now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a bad move by the 11. Well, they're gonna have fresher stuff, but yeah, it, it's looking tough. Yeah, now. that was a bad move. That's why I said that early pit, fresher tires, huge. Especially with one times. Unless they really think they can get an eight second stop. They gotta maintain eight seconds here through this run. Till till that till that gas or whatever right sides and get can, right? It's only eight seconds really. Oh man, the nine so, car. Because they're all gonna have to pit again. Nine car is going to put the twelve in the wall right there. Put the bumper to him. It's not just coming for the lead. He doesn't care if he's between these radioactive guys. You get the chance to dive under him, we're gonna do it. Like about. I said. <laughs> Alright, let's see what they do. I think the nines on fresher tires than them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he's making moves. It's gotta be like one or two probably, not much. I think he It's like three it's like four. Even if you get the I think it's like three, four. Yeah, right now, so. Oh. Oh, he wants it. Oh, he that. got it. He got it. He's gonna get it. Closing gave it to him. Yeah, he might run away with it. Just depends on the draft, I guess. But he's got the fresher stuff, so not too much fresher though. Is he this should yeah, go out with three right? teammates. Yeah, it's gonna be better for the for radioactive here. According to closing, he's got two lap in their tires. Well, the thing is, he's going to yeah, be, he's gonna be and I have the same kind of mind. I knew it was two. <laughs> it's 3v1 once these tires equal out, because it will on times one. He's not going to have better tires for very long. If I was them, I'll just let him burn his stuff up. I'll let him run his fuel, burn his stuff up, and then get on the outside. It's three of them versus him. That was the move right there of shotgun. I mean, you, he didn't really move him that much. There was just a light little bump into the 12 car, which started this run to the front for shotgun. Coming clear from fourth to first. Ten's uh, going for it underneath here. That cut off. 
So shotguns in blocking mode now. Back here we got closing soon, or sorry, fifth constant sitting behind Protege at the moment. He's that far back. Yeah, he lost way too much time. Unless he thinks he can take two tires in the can, I don't know what what he's he was thinking there. You got to you got to pit with those leaders within one or two laps to they all go in. I'm not sure. Uh, is Protege on the lead lap right now? Anybody know? Big shot. I think shotgun just brake checked the ten. Well, Proje and Grid went in together with them early on, so I think Proje made up that much time compared to fifth on the on the cycle because he stayed out more well, so he's on passing. way fresher stuff but he's he did get up there yeah fifth makes the pass on him right there oh uh, yeah they're passing the nine now yep here they come they they did not burn his stuff up man all right well they're all gonna try to go past him see if we got anything from the nine car at all or any of that radio all right I kind of just have to, I mean, I kind of have to just ride with these guys, like, I'm, I'm outnumbered, whatever, they can, they basically control the race, because unless my car comes to life, it's three Fords versus just myself. Well, he says that, his team, or I don't know if any of his team is back there, but they do have a few cars back there trying to make their way up. Uh, so I can help them out a little bit if they catch them, and it looks like they are starting to make ground back there. I can't tell who that is. Uh, that's the uh, Tenacious, the three, and the one. So that's I do believe. all his teammates. So yep, that's his three them. teammates. So he's stressed at the moment, but he shouldn't be because they'll be up there, I think. They have the fre they have a little bit of fresher stuff than these Fords. Not too much, but um, I think they should catch him. Now Fry, we got you fifth check all out? by himself in seventh. Uh, Shocker no can't check up. He can just try to make something happen up front so they actually maybe separate one of them and get to third and make it two wide racing, but don't lose the two leaders and give the, the three cars a chance to get to them. You know, like race kind of a little hard, maybe slow up the front, but he can't lose this pack. He, I don't think he'd back up. I mean, I mean you it'd, back be, up, it'd be a risk. I guess four. we're in Vegas. It'd be a risk. Yeah, four on I three. Mean, he, yeah. He, got, he, got, he got a win already. Wouldn't you just back up and get your teammates and come back up there and get them? Oh, he's not like you when I'm trying to get back up there. He always <laughs> come back get me. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, um, so you guys watch NASCAR. Obviously, you know what crank it ups are, but um, we decided to change the name up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna try it out here. We're gonna do a, a, our first in it to win it noise all out here. Um, so we'll do that for a minute or two, and then we'll get back to you guys. But uh, we're gonna do a noise all out here. All right. Sunday drive. Sunday drive. Yeah, I did on that, yeah. Let me know. Or 
just doing two seconds right now. You got to come here, 45, 45. Yeah, that, that does sound right. 45, 45, 45. You know, Shockland was in there worrying about the championship race, obviously. What would closing do? Would he let one of his teammates win this race, put him in the championship? Um, I'm not sure if he would. Uh, what do you guys think? you think closing would do that? <laughs> He's lagging. You know, it depends. It depends if he's being a team player or he, he just wants to win it for himself. You never know. I think this well, Shotgun Shotgun kind of knows about that because it's Chicagoland. One, I think, was well, Shotgun's first maybe win. I don't know. actually know he won another trace, but Shot, uh, closing stayed right behind Shotgun, and actually he didn't even race him, and Shotgun got that win. I mean, I've done it. I've done it many yeah. times. Actually, I did it with Rob Red in season one. Uh, hell, we was actually gonna let AD win, but AD switched teams on us. And, you know, AD was riding in third behind me and Robert the whole race. And then, again, at the auto club with me, Fry, and AD finished one, two, three. We were, we were trying to let AD win that one as well. So, yeah. I told you, I, if he slowed down there, I'm winning. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> you should have said anything and then you would have won the race probably. Yeah. We had some good chats, too. I wish we had this technology that you got right now going on. To listen to Rainy and us talking there, that was a lot of fun. I mean, one of the best things we ever did was team comms, I feel. You don't have to listen to everybody else bitching, just your own team, you know, working together. Yeah. Did they used to all be in the same party? Yep. Me, AD, Fry, and it was either Rusty or... Remember, reunion, reunion tour, though, we were all in the same party. Remember, we could hear Tyler. But did you guys, uh, did, like, everybody in the 20 A couple times, I remember. Did everybody in the 20 used to be in the same party during a race? Used to be. Only very, a couple like, times. The first, the first three seasons, for sure. Because of the, uh, manual cautions, probably? Uh, did we have manual cautions? At one no, point, we didn't have manual cautions. I thought you did at one point. We didn't have manual cautions in the first season. So I think Deed sat out at one point, didn't they, to do them? They that parked was each other's two. track to watch. Yeah, that was season two when we were all parked around the track watching to see who was wrecking who, and then we were giving out penalties. And then season three, season three was going to be epic, and then that's when the East Park stuff started happening. Yeah. And then we ran the arena tour, and Tyler... Deeds won it, and you and Tyler, remember? That was a great race, and then we were going to go 3.5, and we started, and Rose and Lucky Dog were in there, and they were fastest in this game I've ever seen. And it was bad. some really good racing. That was pretty cool, watching those guys. Like, It's almost comparable to this. There's some good guys in here that are on this game that have been playing this game in a long time that are pro league worthy, I would say, now. Yeah. Can you imagine if we, um, like, the way we have the stream today and all the drivers we have today, imagine if we had all these guys and everything and all this, during the time where East Park and everything got started, because I'm pretty sure that was pretty big for the internet, for the NASCAR Heat community, I think. But and then the competition, that'd be pretty fun. That would be pretty fun, probably. That's that's also yeah. when we're doing those uh, those charity races where it was like everybody from all the leagues like sent their best drivers into it. You know, that'd be pretty cool to do again. Like that was super charity. fun, man. I'd be down to start one of, to do one of those, host one of those. Well, I felt a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago, you did a really cool one with uh, Alex, you know, or just cause yeah. and, and stream some pretty cool, like, you know, they had to, you know, they had to like qualify and you did a main and he did a main and then the main. It was, I mean, you guys watch a lot of viewers. There's a lot of people in there. It was just kind of like the whole community got together and they did a tournament, which was how I met most people in this game to, to this day. Yeah, only, only thing about that, man, is you never know what their internet is, man. They can have like some. Bad internet. That's the only downfall of it. 
mm-hmm. because you never race with those people, and then you get behind them, and then you know you get donkey kicked. You know. You were in the uh, Winter Showdown, Rainy, correct? Was that the one, uh, the Hooters League or whatever? Yeah, it was during. I think so. It was during the yeah game, during Christmas. Yeah, I had to I had to win my way in mm-hmm. because me and me and Closing got knocked out of the first heat. They need to do something like that again. That was super fun. Yeah, man. This game is just way too difficult. So Shotgun now. has stayed with these three, and these other three have not made any ground. Yeah, they're split up. The uh, and you know, like, the Shotgun uh, go an extra two, and then these might be with his teammates the last run because these three are going to pit together. And they're gonna be good to go, you know what I mean? You got all you three gotta gonna... with him. I feel like he's gonna have to battle these guys by himself, man, or pit way before they do. Or do the three behind him and him pit short pit. Oh, they just came in. They just oh, came see? in. Let's see what happens. The four of them? Oh, here we go. Three of them came in. Let's see what happens. Three of the full throttle outlaw guys. And then Ribs is already on, so I guess you can say four of them. Oh, these just donkey kicked the nine. See, it's the nine has to come in right here. He has to come in. See if Shotgun got anything on that. Thanks, Steve. Not telling the internet. You. I appreciate that. Shotgun there goes my right race. There. He should have came in right there. Like he would have linked up with his team. Race. And, you know, they're all three in a line. There's nothing that I can do. So, Ram controls this race, and Ram's probably won this race because they've all lined up. He should have uh, pitted yeah, right there. destroyed me. Yeah, he should have. He should have definitely yeah, paid. He, he needs to pit cars, here. The three cars behind Shotgun pitted, and he just got hit by D's and no communication, like, come in right now and catch us to go 4v3. That's he, what I would be thinking right now. He should have already came in. That's crazy that he's still out there right now. He said he's going to try to get off cycle now. Okay, now when does fifth constant come in? That's for, yeah, good call, right to fifth. That is a good question. He's gonna be way later. But the uh, he's, um, the nine is still the nine's coming in. Radioactive guys haven't even pitted yet. Yeah, then ah oh, man, the nine should have came in way before that. He should have came in the following lap. Yeah, his race is over. Unless for the caution. There's going Can to be you see a cop. closings? How many to go? I want to see if he's going in with. I think it's 50 to go. 50 to go. So they got to go five more. The other ones think they can go 55 here in this last run. That's why they short pitted to try to gain some ground to be up there. Yeah, the, I think these guys need to come in now, too. Yeah, because you saw what happened to the um, Constant Motorsports guys when they stayed out like five, yeah. seven laps long. Yeah, they, they, they need to come in now. 49 to go. They should come in here. Oh, and oh, hot one lagging. Jeez, look like he wrecked it, but he was lagging. Thought he did wreck it for a second. Or you need to radioactive damage. internet. Radioactive internet now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's wrong with our internet. You probably just need to clear your MAC address. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Well, these need to clear it on his Xbox. I mean, don't get me wrong. We don't got the best internet, but, like, as of, like, a month or two ago, it didn't really lag at all during NASCAR heat stuff. I'm just trying to get started. Got to get all that Starlink stuff. So, so when oh, these three pit here, I bet you, right here, what, 45 right to go, 47? 47. Now, let's see the Tenacious Boyko line cone group. They're going full two cans. And, 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 and these three 11. cars are really... Levin's got to stay out way more. He's going to stay yeah, out. He, he has to do the one can now. He's already committed to try to, like, I don't know. It's not going to work because there's so many laps on a green rack, green flag run that you can gain ground on the track now by not, you know what I mean? Because you're faster. All right, well, I believe these, uh, I believe that the uh, radioactive motorsports guys are going to be taking two cans here. No. The eleven's still out there. No, they can't. They're going they're going forty five again. They said they're taking two cans. Oh yeah, you're right, the gas, but I bet you they took four tires. Which is a safe Had to stop. take four. 
Yeah. They did take four. All right, well, the pack is here. The party has started back up for the final under 50 laps to go here at Las Vegas. Ine Shock, or sorry, closing senior leader. Dirty Deed second. Shotgun fell off earlier. He was up there and got lag spiked. See, the hot one might have got a worse pit stop. All right. Yeah, it he looks got like a 16 it. and they got 15 or something. That's how the game kind of does screw you. I mean, that's something that can happen in real life, though. Yeah. So. So now, Tenacious, Cone, and Boyko, are they close with now Hot One? Uh, the other right behind him. Or Shotgun is as well. So, I mean, Shotgun said he was done. But if you look at it realistically, he is not done. He is right there. And uh, he's going to be up there at the end. So, he just got a little negative on himself for a little bit. That happens. But he's right there. Just, if these guys can line up. Even though most of them are on different teams, there's three different teams right here they are going to have to work together. Or sorry, two different teams. Um, if they can line up, then they can make this work. Uh, but Deed's closing hot one have, like, what, five laps better tire than these, these tenacious group? Yeah. We'll see if they try to link up with hot one or if they try to ditch him since he's a teammate of those radioactive guys up front. I mean, what will we'll, we'll, we'll win? Two guys with fresher tires or... Three guys with older tires plus one guy with fresher tires, you know? It's a good question. I think the, the more cars in the line, the faster you're going to be. No matter what the tires are? Yeah, so these two up front. If those four back there can line up and get a little bit closer, so if the eight gets a little bit closer to the nine, I think they'll catch up to the 14 and 10. I think they what. need the nine to be there because he's on the best tires of everybody, right? In a sense? Uh, it's hot one. It's yes. So hot, hot one, I hot hot one deeds in a closing went in before tenacious and yeah, no, no, Boyko line cone, but then they went, went later. They went, after. they went after shotgun. Shotgun went like two oh, laps so the, before. So they, they have way better tires up front right now. Correct. Closing pulling away a little bit from deeds, but I mean he's not trying. They're just trying to run together. All right, well. Holland leading this line right here that's trying to catch the leaders. And you got Ine Shotgun, Tenacious, and then Line Cone. But I'll tell you what, Tenacious, he's won all the races that Lox Vegas has been in. None of them have looked like how this one has looked so far for him. Uh, running in like fourth place most of the race, trying to get a strategy down. So this one's a bit different with the one times wear for him. See if he can still get it done though. But they're catching him. They are definitely catching them. And they're going to be there. No more pit stops, correct? No, this is One. this is the end. And uh, full throttle outlaws actually have four, fifth, six, seven. That's their point. No, I think they I think they need one more stop. One more stop. You think? Right? Because they're, they're already. No, done no, no. That's two. They're done. They're, yeah. they're, they're, okay. Here we go. Or thirty-six. <laughs> If you're a hot one, are you trying to break up this line right now, or are you trying to get up there just to try to go for the win? Even though it'll affect you too. You, you gotta still go for the win, man. You still gotta go for the win every race you want to win. That's what he's trying. They're to coming. Do. They're yeah, coming. They're fast too. As they get on the back straight away, they've got it cut down big time here. Uh, fifth constant, nowhere really to be seen right now. Unless it was a caution, he's done for this race. Same with ICJ. All those guys back there. Boyko. And Ribs. Back here battling. But then we got some action here at the front. Some good action. Because they are right there. Then we got Protege and Gridlock going at it back here. Two teammates getting the four car battle back here. Spot for a potential caution. I mean, I doubt it, but you never know. We'll see a caution within the last 15 laps. Man, Randy, you ain't been here for many other relaxed cautions races. If you were, you would not be expecting a caution at all. We've, yeah, we've I don't raced see a relaxed caution. cautions here. Uh, I don't know, Randy. Not lately. We, the last, the last, the first day race we ran here, because, you know, we usually just run night races whenever hey, there's a track with a night race. Twist the bushes on pit road. I'm not sure what for. Looks like the looks like they moved the 12 out of the way here. Throw them away, man. 
you have the freshest tires too. I feel like that's the guy you want leading the line. Is the eleven the leader still? Was the he was leading? Oh yeah, he was leading the race, wasn't he? They didn't pick it. Is he still? I think the the ten is passing them now. Yeah, and Twisted Bush is on pit road, so the constant guys have not pitted yet. Have they? I don't know how they can go this long. Constant yeah, just came out probably with one can and two tires in front of these guys. Yeah, there's no way he didn't already pit. So well, he's in second right now? Yeah. No, no, <laughs> no, he's in fourth right now. Don't ask me how. Oh, wait, no. He's, I don't know where he's at because closing's running third right now. He's the leader. Fifth Constant is still your leader. According oh, to my God. Is he going all the way, Fry? <laughs> is he going no, he's going to pit with 20 to go. He's trying to do 120, and he's already they already caught him in speed, so he has to pit. I'll tell you they what, don't. Though, he is slowing Deeds down right now because Deeds can't unless he has a, Unless he has him a lap down. I don't think he has him a lap down. Are they all trying to get their lead back, their lap back? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, this is their lap back. Closing still third place. Is he is he hoping for a caution? I have no idea. Well, Deeds having a tough time passing fifth constant despite having fresher tires. He's gonna make the pass right there, so Deeds is cleared fifth constant. Here come these full throttle outlaw guys. They are flying too, trying to catch. All right, Deeds. so we got a pack of we got a pack of six now. You think they can run down that 10 now, Fry? It's definitely going to happen. It's going to add deeds oh. to it. It's going to be 6 of 5th constant. Gonna... 5th might fall off this. He's got older tires. They can't let 5th lead that line. And they're not going to. Yeah, 5th constant really held deeds up from closing, so deeds is going to fall back to that pack. They'll probably shuffle deeds out to the back of the pack, and then you'll have all the full throw outlaw guys all of a sudden ganging up on closing soon. So, let's see what happens. 33 to go right now here. Well, I'm a hot one. Just got, he, he played it smart. He let those three go, and he's just chilling there. So, he's letting them help him catch back up there, too. 33 laps to go here. The leader down the back straight away right now. They shuffle the three back. Yep. Fifth Constant's going to fall to the back of that line, probably fall off of the draft. But they have caught the 14 car after a good hefty amount of laps. Now they're all after the 10 car. So this could I be think a good finish. A really good finish. It's got the potential. I don't think they're going to stay behind the 14 long due to the fact the 14 has lag. Yeah, and due to the fact that Shotgun already got lag spikes, so he knows what's up. Yeah. He's getting past him as quick as possible. See if there's any chatter on that in the radio right now, maybe. We'll see. I haven't seen a lag for a couple laps, or for like 10, 15 laps at least, but. Does Deeds hold him up here? No. Deeds, oh, Deeds want to win. Yeah, Deeds wants Deeds, to win. Deeds, Deeds wants to win. So, I mean, he, he's going to say, you pushed me to my teammate, right? Wow. Well, Tim Blaine oh. It locks me and hits the apron oh. and then it hits the brakes. So oh, I can't get like, oh, serious. God. Gayest, gayest move They're not happy. I mean, you, what's he supposed to do? He's trying to go win a race. Looks like the teammates got back in front of him. Get, get up and get gone. Like, we've, we've got important. to get these two out of the way. They're saying he's lagging. Don't be afraid to go in there and, and get into the back of both of them. We don't have the time to sit and ride behind them. All right, we might see somebody moving somebody here. Gordon. Yeah, I love it. This kid's, it's getting spicy. And he said, if you don't, don't do it, I will. I don't know. I get here in this turn one. I'm shoving the shit out of you. We're going to see oh, what here happens. We here we go. He knows we're faster. That's why he's not letting us by. Oh, oh they under the 12. Nobody went with the three. Oh, he's going to get Where's on the, the wall. Way? Contact. That's more than side draft tenacious. He just put him on the wall. They're down the back straight away and turns three and four. Didi's gonna make the pass. Now I gotta go to the other radio, see what their perspective is. Contact! Oh! 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 oh. oh it was close! I was hoping you had a better figure up. going on in their radio. Oh, contact again between the eight and the twelve. 
And these guys just going at it. It's a dogfight right now. Deed's still in the lead of this line. All right, so hot one. Trying to go below the shotgun there for a second. He's going to clear out the apron. Uh, yep, there's an ICJ a little bit. We Ooh. can Thought shotgun was gonna hit the wall there. Side by side right now, hot one and DD King or not DD King, sorry. Uh, line cone, line cone in the wall. Contact. Oh. Line cone almost wrecks it. He saved it. What a save. But he's done for the race after that. And that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt the full total outlaw guys because now it's an even battle. It's a three v three if they catch closing soon. But we're still not looking at fifth constant. What's he trying to do? I don't know if he's pitted yet or not. Hell of an effort. Great, great job. I think he, I think he was just coming out of pit road there the last time by. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, he he's not even in contention. That was the worst strategy I've seen oh, from Mr. All Time in my life. I'm going low here. Side by side. Contact. Oh my God. Oh, remember. Just remember, the more you, more you do, the, the better you help me. Oh, I got you, baby. All right. So I think they're trying to help closing win this thing right now. Hold them off. I think they just don't want shotgun it's, to win. It, it looks like it's three v three right now because Boyko's it not is. there no more. So it's Lion Cone and uh, Tenacious no, and Lion shotgun Cone's versus so. Hot One, D D or Grid, or I mean Dirty Deeds and uh, excuse me, shotgun or closing. 3v3. Pretty much because he hit the wall. He's a little further back. Can Deed stay with shotgun here? Deed does have the fresher tires, I believe. But just a little bit. Hot one's still holding off tenacious right now. We're going to get a lap count really quick. I'll let you guys know here in a second. Closing soon is officially the leader. Shotgun second, Deeds third, Hot one fourth, Tenacious fifth. At the moment. How many to go? 17? Uh, I'm getting a lot of count this time by. On this, once closing goes by on the stream. Twenty two to go. So we still got twenty two <laughs> laps to go. That's a lot of time. And Rainey, what did you say within the last twenty laps? Do you think we see a caution? 15, last 15 laps out of past four out of five races. Well, it looked like we could have seen one back there with all that racing, but we didn't. They held Rainy them. Mac in the house. They held that ground. <laughs> I'm watching Lion Cohen here, and he actually is about ready to get to the four, the next, the, the, those four. He's not out of it yet. He gets yeah, a little he's coming here. Hot one's on his way, apparently, according to Deeds. I lost Tenacious. Lost Tenacious. Let's get this one, two, three. Oh, lag bump! Red lag bump! Fuck! Uh oh, what happened? Uh oh. Gridlock. Got lagged! Oh, man! The 20 car lagging badly. Alright, so he did a good job of composing that with his teammate. So Deed's right there on shocking at the moment. Alright. Right now Dirty Deed's trying to Get onto that nine car's bumper and make the pass. Go for this one, two, three, like Hot One said. But he's also just trying to keep Shotgun back from the nine or from the uh, ten car to help him get the win. We've been green the whole race. Will we see a caution? I hope. So. Yeah. The only thing, the only thing that's going to happen without closing win this race is a, is a is a caution because they need four or five of them to catch one. That closing closing guy. He's locked in, dude. He's not going to make a mistake. He's hitting his marks. He's running just as fast as these three or four cars behind him. 
give him Except shotgun. Of the season, second one of the season, tie him with Ian e. Shotgun. We got the 45 closing in on the three. This should push him back up stuff. to the eight. Fungus is on new stuff. Oh, oh he's in the wall. He's in the wall. And that sucks because he was on new stuff too. He had a chance to go up there and maybe get a third place, if not better. But he hit the wall, unfortunately. That's going to slow him up a lot. About the three back up to the eight here. Let's see if they make a run on the 12. Trying to do something. Hot one falls back you, a little bit. And you can see the tires from the Fords are coming into play now. Let's see if they can make a pass on that nine car. All right, let's see what they do here. Oh, I'm gonna get up on his teammate's bumper here. Hope not to get lag spiked. They're gonna probably work together here. Go on the outside or something, make a pass. Or will they wait? Deeds looks in the bottom. Shotgun yeah, actually shotgun. has better tires than the leader, right? No, so. no, no. No, no. He pitted two laps before before them. Oh, because he got hurt, yeah. So, yeah, he needs help. I think they need to line up. I don't think they're going to. I think Deeds and Hot One are trying to pass him and help their teammate get the win right now. From what the radio sounded like to me. Are we at 15 to go now? Uh, somewhere around there. Let me check. I don't know. Tenacious is coming again. They got the help from the 45. We got a lap car coming up. Somewhere, I heard Deeds say. Oh, Deeds gets loose. Deeds almost wrecked it back there. Tenacious is coming. 14 to go. And the beard man is lurking. It's 14 to go, trying to stay undefeated. It's going to be tough with how far out the um, 10 car is. 10 car is 2.2 seconds out on second place, which is shocking at the moment. We'll see if that shrinks down at all. As of right now, it's not shrinking at all. It's staying right there. Oh. Like I said, I got almost six cars here, man. Question is, can they do it in 13 laps? Is that plenty got of Got it. Oh, hot one on the wall. Dude, they're treating this like a... They're racing this like a plate track. They need to get on the outside. I feel like they can make some time on the outside. Yeah. All right, well, these guys, if they can get together here, they're still a little too far apart for anything to work, but if they can get together, they might have a run. Man, I would do a, I do a freaking radioactive with closing right now, showing him his lines he's hitting. I'm watching him, looking back, and he ain't messing up, man. This is pretty cool to watch. I've oh, never deeds. seen this 10-car this fast. Hot one going below Deeds. Oh, here comes the A on the outside. I'm not sure if I like this at the moment. And here comes the 8-car. They went side by side and now they're here. Deed's gonna get shuffled out from his teammate. Unless those full throttle guys decide to go to the outside, they're not doing it. They don't want to mess with the lag. They're gonna shuffle him out. His own teammate oh, shuffled him out, did him dirty. Oh. Closing's got a lag a lap car further in front of him. It's pretty far out there though. Oh, Cone gonna go to the bottom here on Deeds, trying to make a move. Not gonna work, gets into Deeds, he's gonna move Deeds up the track! He moves oh, Deeds. here we go! Contact! Oh, Let's see if Deeds says that anything. Was... That was oh, pretty Deeds aggressive. Yeah, that was pretty he's aggressive. Slam into the 45. I'd be mad too if I was Deeds, Cone. Just completely moved him right there, trying to get with his teammates. But, I mean, that's part of racing. Ruben's racing, right? Nothing from these on the radio, just full concentration. And like they teammates. say on the red zone, it's coming down to the witching hour. Yep. Will they catch him, though? Oh, wow. 12 just slammed into the 9. We're going 3 right here, coming out of 2. Uh, and Fungus is lap down right here. And fun fact, 
as they're battling back yeah. here, this leader is... I think Fungus is no, in the Fungus mix, is there. Man. Yeah, Fungus is here. But um, as of right now, Closing's got a bigger lead than what he had earlier. He's got a 2.4 now, so he's gained on Oh, yeah. They're, they're racing side by side right now. They're yeah. three wide. Closing loves to see that. They're just racing for position now. Idyllic Fungus in the back of this pack right now behind Deeds. See if he can help him at all, get some position. He's had a pretty quiet race until here at the end. Hot one leading this pack at the moment in front of Eni Shotgun. Second place at the moment. Oh, oh man. 45. Wow. I saw that for a split second. Dirty Deeds running behind the three car right now, trying to make some position. They could still go through it for a one, two. And that race for try. seconds where it's at right now. Today's oh. just shotgun just got under the hot one. Hot one side by side with them at the moment. Deeds on the outside behind them. Not gonna make it to him. Contact between Deeds and the line cone. And Deeds not happy with fungus. <laughs> Not happy with him at all at the moment. He said, "Why are you even here?" Let's see if he says anything else. Hey, funny story. Long time ago, we drafted, right? And Rainy goes, "Hey, who do I draft?" I'm gonna draft Fungus. <laughs> I don't know. I remember. <laughs> but don't put yourself in a position where you finish last. How many we got to go? Six. I'll let you know here in a second. It's going to be five. So they're not going to catch him up there, but they're just battling for position right now. Hot One's going to make a big move there on Tenacious. Closing's out in the place. front telling his teammate, don't do something that's going to screw yourself over yep. out there. And he's, you know what I mean? Yep, just trying to make sure they know. Being a good leader. Trying to get as many points as possible here. Don't get too greedy. Hot One running third right now. Dirty Deeds running fifth or sixth place at the moment. Pretty solid. First yeah, six. crazy stat though. Shotgun gets second here. He got the pull again. He's gonna have minus four points for his team this season. That's unreal. That's solid. That's just this season. I, I how many does I, he's got a lot minus a lot this whole season? I believe in pulls. It's minus three per pull, right? Five pulls. Oh, he got all into five the wall. Pulls. Wall. Uh oh. Jesus Christ. Like, are you fucking nah, kidding he's me? not even remotely close to another car for position, that's fucking ridiculous. Because is there even really... See, Fungus is a lap down, down. Really... see? I told you guys sure that. I'm pretty sure he's in last place. Yeah. Yeah. Deeds is loose. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, man. I mean, yeah, Fungus is in last yeah, up I'm here. The only one guys is fifth. Yeah, but Deeds, is there even a yeah. Toyota in that fucking pack? Oh shit. Then who the hell is he helping? Not one. So he's just being I have no clue. Yeah, he's, he's loose. What the fuck is he doing? Racing us. He's not happy. If I'm Deez, I'm just moving him. Oh, Deez going below Cone! Oh. I just got the spot from Cone. Nice there from Deeds. I mean, there's etiquette and then there's etiquette. Is he up there helping his uh, manipulate this race for his teammate, or is he getting no. out of the way of leaders? Because you're, you're he should already have a blue and an X. He's not helping right? for anybody. How many He's times to go? Nothing. One lap to go That's right kinda, now. You know. Oh, man, the 8 car and the 12 going at it. But anyways, out of turn 4 here. Closing soon. is going to get it done here. Closing soon as the 5's down pit road. Closing wins it here at Las oh, Vegas. My so pick we got battle. Right? My pick. Oh, oh, contact! The 8 car's around! Ethan 9-2? They are going to destroy it. Ethan 9-2? Oh, shit. wow. Let's listen to the other radio. Yeah. Next week is going to be fun, fellas. We're almost wrecked. Wow. Are we going back to Discord? For what it's worth, I ran out of the gas yeah. at the line. God, Love Draft is so fucking dog shit, dude. 
but you literally cannot pass and you cannot gain on the dude in front of you. It's it's real life, man. To pass a person, Everybody unhappy. To pass a person, you have to slam into the back of them going into the corner because you can't build enough momentum by yourself to pass the person in front of you. Like it is the it is the worst. Yeah, wait, yeah, okay. It's, I, Closing uh, soon kind of dominated that strategy tonight, right? He had it down 45, 45, or whatever they did. All their teammates stayed up there with them. Yeah, there was some lag, and some people are frustrated, but uh, for the most part, closing soon dominated that race, right, guys? You feel the end of that race? Oh, man, Tenacious not happy in the chat right now. We're going to send it back to the booth. Yeah, we'll go back to the Discord, guys, get our race winner in here. I'll see you guys there. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, yeah. Guys, we got some beef going on right now. It is super fun. Um, these guys beefing it out. We're going to wait for our guys to get in here. Dude, do you see this chat right now? I can't see the chat. What's going on? Uh, Ribs is in there saying stupidest stuff ever. Some of y'all are idiots just saying. Low draft sucks. F and force it on drivers using their doors. Classy move from Tenacious. Ain't no beef, just dumb drivers. <laughs> hey, let's go. Let's interview the winner closing soon. No, let's not worry about that chat right now. But, yeah, oh, it's no, going to get even spicier. You know, there's other let, – let, let, let's see what they say on live camera. I'm sure closing has something to say about that race. Race winner. This is some beefy stuff right now. We're going to get closing in here. And a fungus in here saying people shouldn't battle for 11th the whole race as he just got done doing it on the leaders. But, anyways, closing soon. You got a copy? Yes, sir. All right, well, it's probably nice to be the winner on the most beefed race of the season hereafter, obviously in the chat. But are um, you Wait, are you serious? Yeah, there's a lot of beef, bro. This is, I believe About what? both your wins this season have been in a race where there was a lot of drama afterwards. <laughs> but uh, you get the win here tonight by a good margin, too. Um, your teammates helped you there at the end. I mean, I you can say they helped you. They didn't really hold them off. It was just hard for anybody to catch you. But how's it feel to get the win tonight, second of the season? Feels good. Uh, we ran a mistake-free race, and my teammates raced their ass off for third and fourth. It, it was a good race. Really happy. Well, um, I believe you got first, third, fourth, eighth, and ninth. So uh, overall, the team effort tonight and how good they did, um, how happy are you about that? Because that's super good. I'm thrilled. We, uh, we talked it over. Our comms were good as a team. And everything just fit together. Uh, eighth and ninth, Prodigy and Grid, you know, they lost the, the lead pack due to, I think, uh, the 45 at one point early in the race. And they never quit. You know, they, they just kept ticking along. And every once in a while, you'd hear, oh, this guy made a mistake. There's another position. And, uh, I mean, everyone knows that, that every point matters. So that's huge. And I love that. All right, well, I'll send it to... K Rainey for any questions, and then we'll send it to Fry afterwards. Rainey. I'm at your mic. <laughs> Closing. What's up? What's up, man? Hey, congratulations. Uh there whenever whenever the nine was with y'all on right after the first pit stop. Um did y'all plan on shuffling him to the back like that, or were you uh, we just actually, trying to? Yeah, we we wanted to follow him at first because uh, we knew he he was probably going to be the fastest with the freshest tires, but it almost felt like he was dragging the brake, maybe wanting his uh, his teammates to catch up. So once we felt that we were running a little bit slower laps than we should be, um, we just we had to shuffle him out because we couldn't risk it. Yeah, and there on the um, on the final pit stop, when you were able to pull away from Deeds, there uh, did you think you had it in the bag? Um, no, it was it was really difficult. Um, I I don't know. I I knew that seven, six or seven cars were back there, so it was going to be a task to try and you know maintain pace enough to where they couldn't catch me with a draft. And um, I don't think I lost a single tenth. So it, it worked perfect, and I'm happy. Yeah, I think you were able to gain, like, what was it, about two, two and a half seconds? 
there while they were trying to catch up to you. So, I mean, yeah, man. Again, congratulations on your win tonight. Appreciate it. All right, Fry Dog. I promised Fry I'd wear these for his interview. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, put those on. Yeah, wait, I got hey. to again. Hey man, <laughs> just don't just don't not take the last strike, right? You guys go down swinging. Yeah. But hey, closing. I mean, great win tonight. It was pretty cool to watch you. Thanks. I mean, you guys had the strategy down. You put a lot of work. Your team did really well. But for the most part, I mean, what what did you think when you were out there in those last thirty five laps and you got or twenty something laps it was and you had to hit your own mark and you were so clean. I watched you like for probably fifteen laps and you're hitting your perfect mark. And I told these guys they ain't gonna catch him unless unless they work together and they're racing back there and you're actually just holding the ground. It was pretty good. Just watch. But, uh, I picked you to win. Hey, good. Pick. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, we, we had a uh, hot one had a bad pit stop. So he fell back there with him. Yep. And then deeds got held up by the 11, uh, for whatever reason. Yep. And he got back there with him. him. And honestly, they were content to work together, but, the Chevys wanted to pass them, and uh, when they wanted to pass them, they went, all right, bet. We're going to make it a race, and we're going to make sure that we try and finish in front of you guys and get as many points as we can. But if they really yeah. wanted to catch me, they wouldn't have tried to pass my teammates. My teammates weren't dragging the brake. Mm. I was in the party the whole time. They, My teammates want to win. I don't give yeah. them orders to slow down or fight. I didn't think they were either. So, obviously, at first – they were definitely trying to catch me. And as time went on, once they knew it it really wasn't going to happen, yeah, they battled, and it grew the lead. But, I mean, Hot One coming off pit road had full intentions to try and win that race. Yep, Cohen even said it. Deez wants to win that race, too. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, you know, they were racing hard. I mean, they maybe they could have lined up. But, I mean, it's second, third, fourth, fifth. And, I mean, I don't think I saw Toyota in that front pack. So, it was like you guys were battling – you know, yeah. full throttle. It was kind of tough. It was a 4v3, then it was a 3v3, you know, there at the end. It was really good racing. I really enjoyed watching that race. Yeah, it was weird. You know, I heard a lot of things. There was, Like you said, there wasn't a Toyota in that pack, but you had a lap car Toyota trying to slow them down. So I, I don't know what was going on back there, and I know that a lot of people are unhappy, and at the same time, it's pretty hard to take me seriously when I got these things on. But uh, it, was, it was a good race, and I, I think that everyone will figure it out and – Everyone will, will get through it. Yeah, the thing about that Toyota, he was on way fresher tires than you. I think he was on about 10 lap fresher tires. So that's kind of the reason why he was – I think he was just trying to get in front of him, to be honest. Gotcha. Which, I mean, yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. But th thank you, guys. I appreciate all of you guys being in there. It makes it a lot more fun for us. I'm having the most fun I've had in a long time, as you can tell. And uh, it, it's good. <laughs> It's good. I appreciate you, Rainey. I, I love you, man. And uh, Fry, it's always good to have you, you in there. And Cohen, you do a good job, too. So, thanks, guys. No All problem, right. man. Congrats again. Mork out. Bye. All right, guys. Are we getting – I got a couple guys we can put in here. We've got Tenacious or Hot One. Yes, next. get Tenacious. Tenacious. Get tenacious tenacious right now. All right, let me get him in here. Hopefully, there's still a little bit of hotness. Did you guys see that eclipse today or whatever it was? They had gla glasses out at the ballpark, and you could see the moon going through the sun, dude. Uh, it was trippy this morning. Yeah. Yeah, I was up at 8 a.m. Uh, it was pretty cool. For the star for the Starlink? Tenacious. You gotta I didn't have no Starlink. <laughs> oh, we got Starlink out here, man. We have that sometimes. Tenacious, you got a copy? Yeah, can you hear me? Yep. Um... Yeah, you end up getting like, what was it, fourth, fifth tonight? Fifth place? No, I got six. Sixth place. Well, I mean, it was a solid race. Obviously, uh, closing was able to pull away at there at the end, and you guys were just having a dog fight for the second, third place spots. Uh, but what, what happened at the end of that race there? I saw a lot of contact there, and uh, your car was spun around. Uh, just a typical, and it's a winning race. You see an opening, if it's six inches wide, you take it. So, uh, I guess I just didn't have the grip with the line like they did. So, I finished up sixth. Well, um, who was it that got into you there? 
No, nah, I'm not going to call out names. It was just hard racing. Uh, things won't be forgotten. Uh, it was just hard racing. Closing soon. Um, we'll send it to Rainey for any questions he has. I'm sure he's got some good questions. I'm not sure. Hey, Tenacious, man. Uh, I actually picked you to win tonight. I know, I know it was a, a weird race compared to the couple of races that you won here. Uh, there at the end when the 14 got into you, I'll say it. I watched it. When the 14 got into you there, I think he was trying to side draft you a little bit. Um, did, did, it, did, it, did, did something transpire earlier in that run? to for them to get more aggressive with y'all there at the end i mean it was probably the fact that we couldn't catch closing at all uh we had two separate teams trying to just have a better finish than the other so we didn't really care at i want to say like lap 15 or 15 to go to catch closing because we just weren't uh, so it just be, it just became a drag out race, trying to get the position on the other, and then, um, I really think it all transpired when the twelve and the and the eight were really going at it. And I don't know what happened; it happened behind me. Um, but I think twelve got loose coming off an exit, or got tight, or something. But he came up the track a little bit, and it put the eight in the wall, and he got drugged back by you know a good half second to a full second. So. I think that really transpired because I mean it's coming down to the wire trying to get the better finish. We want we want to keep it clean, and uh, I think we got a little uh, frustrated that we just couldn't get past the Fords. There was some heavy blocking, crazy bonehead moves uh, trying to make things stick. I mean, like I said, just your uh, just like a typical and it's a win it finish. You know, come down to the wire trying to get the best spot. Do you feel like you guys would have been in front of the Fords if you would have pitted a little bit before them? Uh, I felt like if I felt like because there was a point where they pitted, they came around, and then Shoddy was the one that got stuck with them in the front pack, and it was just me, Boyko, and Lion Cone. I mean, I, I really feel like if if Shoddy would have drug his brake back to us, I think we would have caught him them and made that battle a little bit better than it was because we were just stuck in that mid pack losing a tenth every 10 laps so there was no catching really no losing so we had to do something uh but i mean we came up with a strategy for the second pit stop and got ourselves in contention and then uh i mean y'all saw what happened it was just tough racing from there on out i actually if you go back and watch the stream at that time after that first pit stop you can actually hear me say if I was shotgun, I would back up to pick you guys up and come back up there. And I was saying that to Fry. But, uh, you know, it's all good. You still got a top 10, man, and uh, you'll be able to get them next week, I'm sure. I appreciate it. All right, Fry, you got anything? Man, Randy covers a lot of stuff, but, you know. The fact of the matter is, hey, Tenacious, man, your team looked really strong tonight. Your team's been strong all year. I mean, those three cars, you got like little communication in there to pit together, and then was there any communication to t maybe tell Shotgun to back it up to get you guys there? I mean, that there was a little bit of communication there as soon as it happened, uh, but we didn't know if the three cars and the four cars, if he would have drug his brake back, would it be beneficial? You know, if, then he would lose yeah. his spots in contention mm -hmm. with the win. So it was. It was a chance that didn't have like a high probability of it being uh, successful, so we just kept it like it is and really just spoke throughout when we needed a pit to catch back up. And luckily, you know, we pitted like I want to say at least five, six laps before the Fords did, so that really helped us gain ground. And I think their Ford stop really broke them up because closing just absolutely just gapped the field. I think hot 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 one had a bad pit, you know, like a sixteen two to a fifteen four to where he got yeah. behind you and and Deeds was on his ass. But man, that was a great race. 
I really, I really enjoy watching your team race. I mean, you, you have your team dialed in right now. I feel you have a lot of good guys in your team look like they're communicating well. You're all pitted together. You know, shotgun was there. Shotgun's in your party, you know, and I, I really enjoy watching it. So congratulations just on your team finish tonight. I know Boyko might've got screwed there and kind of got shuffled back, but it looked like it was going to be a four V three. Right. And it, I really enjoyed that race tonight. And I know closing kind of broke away there because there was some hard racing. Like you guys say, you can't race to, keep, to stay with the leader. Right. I've heard that in all your guys' party. And you guys were racing hella hard. It was fun to watch. Thanks, Shotgun. I mean, thanks, Tenacious, for letting me watch tonight. <laughs> it was pretty fun. <laughs> I nah, enjoyed I appreciate, it. I you appreciate y'all broadcasting, man. Y'all really made it made it fun up there in the booth. Yes, sir. Thank All right. you. All right, guys. We'll get um, we'll get a uh, hot one in here, and we're gonna get hot one I ribs and then deeds. I ain't afraid to say the names, baby. You don't got to say them. I'm going to say them. <laughs> You're clipping stuff. <laughs> I knew who it was. <laughs> they didn't have to say it. I was going to say it for him. I to see if you would say it. I'm pretty sure I knew who it was. I wasn't positive. We're getting hot one in here. I'm over here making memes during your guys' interviews for the end of 20 chat. All right, hot one. You got a copy? Yeah. Uh, you, I believe you take it home second place tonight, correct? Third. Third place. Well, I mean, you guys had a crazy dog fight there at the end. Uh, obviously, the end of that race caused some tempers to flare. But um, I'm sure you're pretty happy to get out of here with a third place finish there at the end. Get your teammate getting a win. And overall, a good points night for the team. So uh, how does it feel to get a top three tonight here? It was really good. plan coming in here was to gain points on the Chevys, and we definitely did that. And, yeah, it was just a great race. Well, um, overall for the team perspective, uh, not only do you get first, third, fourth, you also get eighth and ninth. So uh, obviously eighth and ninth doesn't sound super crazy, but uh, throughout the season those points add up and uh, it, and it ends up being good. So uh, how does that eighth and ninth actually, how much do you think that affects the team in a good way? Huge, actually. We had, a, we had an amazing night, amazing race. We gained a shit ton of points. And that was the plan, and we executed perfectly, in my opinion. And um, there at the end, uh, some crazy stuff happened. Uh, can you try to give us a rundown of what you saw transpire there at the end of the race on the last lap? Okay. Um, what Tenacious was talking about, I did get tight. I did put him in the wall. Not intentional. But on the last lap, I tried to give Shoddy a bump. Today she got to my outside. I think Deeds came up behind me. He gave me a push to get clear, but then I think, I don't know. Uh, he got tight, and today she got in the wall and spun out. Some crazy shit. All right, well, I'll send it to Fry Dog for any questions, and then we'll go to Rainy. Yeah, it looked pretty crazy, to tell you the truth. Yeah. You know, I don't know about the, you know, not here attracts flies. But, uh, man, good race tonight, hot one. I mean, you guys did what you need to do. Is there anything you could have done differently besides get that last pit stop? That probably the computer screwed you, right? 16.1. Yeah, I got yeah, 16 what, flat. Yeah. yeah. That was what I was thinking, and it brought you back to those Chevys. And then you guys were driving yeah. hard. It was a lot of fun to watch. Yep. Every er, Everything besides that, it was pretty perfect race, right? Yeah, it was good. We... I found my teammates early in the race. We pulled away. It was, it was, it was a good race. All right, well, um, is that all for you on questions, Fry? Yeah, I was moving on. I don't. I could ask right. him another question, but I'm good. <laughs> Rainy. Hi, right, well, man. This is my second time watching you race, and you and you finishing in the top three again. Um, if you would have had a faster pit stop there, do you feel like you would have had something for the 10 car? Yes, I do think. I could have stayed with him. But the computer loved... The computer gave me 16-2 and a 16 flat that race, so it just didn't want me to win. Yeah, I think that basically, I mean, from when I used to play this game, it... it it kind of depends on how you come in the pit road. If you come in like a little bit over 45 or a little bit below 45, I think I think that has a lot to do with it. But um, there on that last lap, 
were you just trying to fight for every position coming to the checker flag or you were just like, you know what, whatever happens, happens? Well, I was trying to get second. I did try to send Shoddy going into one that last lap. I think he just, I don't know, parked it there and it defended it and Tanisha got some outside, like I said, and shit happened in three and four. I was just trying to get all the points I can get, to be honest, because there's no chance of catching closing. I got you, man. Well, congratulations on another top three, man, and uh, get them next week. Appreciate it. All right, um, we'll get ribs and deeds in here. Because I know ribs was having some stuff going in the back. Oh, man. He don't like those Toyotas, does he? Nah, he don't like – it's not the Toyotas. <laughs> it's ICJ he doesn't like. So we're going to hear what he's got to say about it. You're going to have to let us cook, though, Fry. Get some of the intel. <laughs> I yeah, I'll be good. Budget, ribs, ribs, ribs. You got a copy? What's up, Mike? All right, well, um, we know at the Rib Shack you guys started serving some beef, and uh, there's some good stuff cooking tonight. Um, so let's hear what you got with ICJ. What happened there with ICJ? Uh, I mean, it was just a, it was a good night so far, and then it just got where I got a lag punch from the 14 car. Or, well, I was behind somebody that got a lag punch from him, so it put me back there with them. And then uh, – he just wanted to race, man. Like, you, you're trying to let up for the guy in front of you because I was working really well with the six car and the 22 car, and I was letting up so I didn't get into them going into the corner and push up the track. And you just leave a small lane, and that 20 car just wants to go into that lane and shove you up the track. So I've done it back to him a couple times, and then finally I got around him, and uh, we set sail, and... He caught back up and done it again. So, I mean, it's really frustrating because if we all would have worked together instead of trying to race each other, then we probably would have caught that first pack. So, it's just really frustrating. Well, um, overall, though, for tonight, um, were you happy with your race? Disappointed? What was it? Uh, Disappointed. I let my team down. I mean, last place points for the night. But, I mean, it all started at the – toward the beginning of the race i mean you got people that come in here and they practice all week to try to perfect everything throughout the race and then you got guys that don't believe that practice is good luck or it's bad luck whatever and then some that just don't come in and practice at all and it really affects the guys that put in the work and the time to try to do the best they can for their team i mean i like I said, I mean, a green flag run at Vegas is great. Congratulations to closing on the win. Uh, he dominated that race. But, uh, I mean, I just feel like our HendrickCars.com Chevrolet Camaro could have done a lot better tonight if uh, we didn't have to race that D-Walt all around the track for hours on end. Well, um, uh, we've seen a little trend start to transpire possibly um, with uh, you and that 20 car of ICJ. Uh, are you starting to see a trend? After two weeks in a row? Uh, not really. I mean, I, I just I just wish that he would kind of understand, like, yeah, you may have a run, but you don't take that run. I mean, I've had to learn it myself. I used to do the same thing. Yeah, I mean, he's a rookie, so I give him a break. I mean, I, I just call him out. That's, that's It's not really being mean or, you know, bullying. It's just mainly, you know, it's constructive criticism, which I've had to deal with since season four. You know what I mean? I'm used to it. He's not. But at the same time, all it's doing is trying to make you a better driver. Every one of these guys in here has critiqued anything I've ever done. They still do. And that's, I mean, that's what's made me a better driver. So, I mean, I'd really like to see him on the track a little bit more, you know, get used to practicing, even though he says it's bad luck. And, I mean, he's a good race car driver. Really? Hey, he I goes got a question out. for you. What's up? We're done with you slanting ICJ. <laughs> we know you had a beef. Really so, slandering. what do you think about that forty-five car up there racing with leaders? Was there any chat, anything going on in your chat? Because we couldn't hear the Toyota chat tonight. Toyota chat was like me. We could hear your chat. We heard you a lot tonight. We heard shotgun a lot. We heard, you know, what I mean, we heard over there in closing. 
I'm just wondering if there's any chat about that that 45 car up there racing those leaders in your chat. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, there was a couple times that somebody said that, you know, this 45 car is up here, he's a lap down racing. And, you know, I've been there. I've done that. And, you know, last season, wasn't really racing the leaders whenever I'd go a lap down. I was more or less helping my teammates. So I don't know if he was trying to do that or if he was actually racing the leaders. But if 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 you're affecting the outcome of the race, you don't need to be up there. And especially if you're if you're making mistakes in front of people, if you're, you know, forcing three wide situations, stuff like that. So I can get where a lot of people are frustrated from that. Just keep digging, Rebs. It's gonna come. You're putting in work. Good job. I'm not lying. You're a good driver. Don't 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 like just retaliate, man. Just just you had those three cars working together, I felt, you know. Just, oh, yeah. just put him out of the way, you know, next time. We'll put right? we'll put something together. I mean, I'm not gonna intentionally go out here and wreck anybody. I mean, I've I've talked, you know, junk to him this week, but at the same time I want him to do good. I want him to succeed. I don't want him to think that everybody's jumping on his case because he's a terrible driver, because he's not. He just needs to do better as a driver. All right, well, send it to Rainey. Rebel. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, I based it off my notes off of, you know, the information you were giving me from all the practicing you were doing this week. Um, I was expecting uh, at the very beginning, it looks like you guys got a little bit discombobulated back there and lost the front pack. Did you, uh, was there any frustration whenever you noticed that, you know, you guys weren't catching back up? I mean, at one point, right before the pit stops, y'all were, and then, like, it's like y'all fell back again. It, does it get frustrating whenever, you know, you're behind somebody and, you know, they're not they're not getting you back up front? Oh, definitely. I mean, I actually wanted to go, I wanted to go in one lap early to try to short pit and catch back up to my teammates, but I couldn't do that because there was somebody on my inside. I don't remember if it was the 20 car or the 19 car, but they were on my inside, so I couldn't pit a lap before my teammates. And I think that's what set the tone for the rest of my race that for the night. Did you think about pitting? You know, you know I know the pit window was 35 to, to 55. Did you think about pitting around like 37 or 38 to catch back up? I did, but at that time, I mean, they were just so far ahead. I thought that I would probably lose time. I mean, I, I raced my way back up to 12th place, and I actually pitted one lap early. And I ran out of gas, and that's what actually put me in the very back. So it was a mistake on my end. I apologize to my teammates for letting them down, but I'll put in some work this week and try to capitalize next week. Gotcha. Well, you know what? I'll be rooting for you next week, man. I appreciate it, man. It's good to see you in the booth. I love you, man. I love you too, bro. See ya. All right, we'll get one more. We'll get deeds in here. I wonder who Deez is mad at. <laughs> he oh, never gets mad. Adelic Fungus. I don't think he's oh, he's not. Just not that. He's probably mad, but he's not going to say anything about it. They, I mean, Fungus was on for extra tires. And then, I mean, he's way faster than him. I don't think he was really trying to race him. I think he was just trying to get past him. I mean, he wasn't benefiting anybody in that situation, though. That's the thing. But I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you're Randy, you, what they used to say, know your role. You're here to race. <laughs> you're here to race, man. It, it doesn't matter, bro. You got to race. I mean, if you're – it's just like Martin Truex. You know, he hates passing lap cars, you know. He freaking hates them. But, I mean, when he's a lap car, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's cool, I guess. <laughs> All right, Deeds, you got a copy? Yeah, yeah. What's up? Um, you uh, where did you finish out? Uh, fourth, correct? Yeah, I got fourth place. Well, uh, some crazy stuff happened there at the end. Uh, can you? Cause we've got a couple stories. Uh, what happened there at the end from your perspective? I mean, it looked to me like six cars going for one spot for about thirty laps. Um, I tried to get around fifth constant there. He drug me back a second off of uh off of Ethan. And uh, that let those guys behind me all catch up. And, uh, I mean, we were just 
we were just racing for a spot. There was uh, there was a lot of aggression there. Uh, Shotty, he he got up there in front of us, and uh, you know we kind of just like you know what if he wants to lead, let him lead, and uh, he he was trying to drag us back, so we had to get around him, and uh, we put some some gaps on him. But I know that there at the beginning, uh, I, I I lagged, so I knew it. And uh, there's nothing I can do about it, but uh, I'll be working on that this week. Um, I apologize. I know I knocked the field in half right there pretty much. Not too happy about that. But, uh, I mean, seriously, we run these settings right here for a reason. Everybody's used to fucking high draft. I'm sorry. Excuse my language. Everybody's used to racing the way league races run. Come on out here and get you some of the stuff you ain't used to. Uh, That looked to me like it turned out really good. Like I say... There, without a doubt, when we hit pit road, that race was decided when Fifth Constant stayed out to lose 10 seconds at a time. And I think you found out real quick he wasn't getting that back. Um, that first pit stop paid dividends. And then uh, the Chevys tried to beat us to pit road the next time. They got linked up better than we did. Like I say, I caught fifth there. Um, I don't know if you guys caught it in the stream there or not, but I'm like, why is there a lap car up here racing me for, for second place? Uh, I got knocked around by him like it was no big deal there was a hell of a lot of side drafting happening right there i trust me everybody wanted that second second position and it was some hard racing i had a lot of fun i'm not mad at anybody it's just uh i'm kind of wondering like man if you can't get your lap back or something right here why are you up here racing i mean i wasn't too happy about it because he actually drug me from i'll say third place at least um back to the end of that line i'm running sixth place and every time i try to back up a corner or something it's try to get in there you know he's in my way he's, he shouldn't even have been there so you know in the race you don't like stuff like that um i don't really sugarcoat a lot of stuff so all right i'll send it to rainy for any questions he has but before we do uh closing in the chat said somebody get rainy a five hour energy because i saw that rainy had it on so i was like okay i'll do it <laughs> all right rainy, all right rainy. deeds uh um did you think you had a car to win tonight? I'm reason I can't copy. hear rainy. Yeah, this is you got a copy now. Last time. Put the headset on. Put the headset yeah, on. All right, well, hold on. Let's try it again, rainy. I said, uh, can you hear me now? All right, let's try again, bud. <laughs> all right, uh, did yes, you think sir, you had yes, a sir. car? <laughs> Did you think you have a card to compete with the 10 tonight if uh, you guys wouldn't have got split up? I did. Um, I told him, you know, I I had a really good car at Vegas. We put in a lot of lap time, a lot of uh, a lot of laps, a lot of time this, this week. We knew, we knew you had to be first on pit road, and if we could get on there hooked up, we were going to get three and a half seconds just by being a lap early, and if we could stay hooked up, we were running 30.1s that whole run. I never ran a four. Um, it was – the plan went it went according to, to plan. Um, we were just cruising there in a the line. When we hit pit road, I got a 15.1. Closing got a 15.2. And hot one got a 16.2. That was a second. Um, like I say, after that pit stop right there, I was two tenths behind closing, just riding. And uh, got fifth constant. He got around him pretty good, but – it took me a uh, took me a while longer. Um, you know, he was out there staying on the. He was he was in the lead, so I had to get around him clean. And uh, by the time I did, I looked up in the mirror, and there was a hot one and a whole line of Chevrolets behind me. So I knew it was on right there. And like I say, I was thirty laps to go. I mean, I don't know what else you could ask for right there. <laughs> right, right. And I, I I was hearing you mention the forty five. I think the forty five had about seven to to ten lap fresher tires, and I think that's why he was up there racing with y'all because he had actually ran y'all down. Uh, right. Because I think, right. Yeah. I think. I think. Yeah. Uh, I think the three got, something happened to the three, and the three dropped way back, and then the forty five pushed the three back up to the eight, which brought all y'all back together. Um, yeah, but that that uh, coming to the coming to the. Uh, I mean, hey, the those, flag, those Chevys man. use that forty-five. Yeah, absolutely. Um, coming into the uh, the checker flag, uh, you made a you made a wild move there, questionable move according to Fry. 
but you, but you, but you, you ended up getting fourth place. Uh, yeah. Was was that uh was that just uh you and the twelve just going for it? So the twelve, I mean, uh, tenacious on the back stretch there. Tenacious made a big old jump to the outside and was side drafting him, and he had a. Uh, I think he had the three with him, and, you know, they were tight racing right there coming into that. Uh, I believe the 12 got a little tight, or he might have got the apron down low, and uh, I passed Cone right there. I believe I passed the 45 and Cone right there, and then um, coming out of the corner right there. I have to watch it back because, you know, things happen, and you don't – until you watch it back, you don't really know what happened. But I definitely didn't mean to get into Tenacious right there. Uh, I – had a lot of wheels sawing into the thing. Um, I, I thought I actually thought they were going to make contact in front of me. Um, so when I got into him, you know, I apologize, but I'm sure Tenacious knows I don't. I wouldn't race him like that. Uh, they don't call. I'm not closing at Michigan for Christ's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, congratulations on your top five, man. He's pretty mad at you. I just let you know you got a bounty on you. Yeah, I thanks, Brady. I think the- Super happy to have you here, bud. No problem. All right, uh, is Gridlock still in here? Yeah, I believe so. Say, oh, yeah. Follow me to the booth. Oh, what's yeah, up, okay. Gridlock? Dirty still- deeds. Oh, what's going, Dutch? Wait, wait. Did Fry? Did Fry interview yeah. deeds? No. What's up? Hey, man, you, so, hey, man, you, you had a bad, fast Ford Mustang tonight, right? It was bad fast. You're up there hanging with everybody. It was really a pleasure to watch you guys tonight. I mean, your strategy was point on for what you guys needed to do. The strategy on the Toyotas were kind of off. The Chevys did make a run at you guys by pitting early, but then you got good tires, and the, I, the game kind of screwed a hot one. But that was so fun to watch. I mean, is there anything differently you could have done to maybe put you in that spot to win the race? I mean, the only thing that you know, most of the time, if you got cars that are even, it's basically who wins that last pit stop. Um, and then, you know, if you're, if it's car versus car, you know, roll speed and they're both even, we are probably just going to stay even. Uh, and like I say, it all changed when we caught fifth, who was out there begging for a caution or something. Um, and uh, like I say, that cost me a second right there. Closing went to from 0.2 to 1.2 and hot one was behind me. And he went from, 1.2 to right on my bumper, drug their Chevys with them. I don't know that I could have done anything different. I mean, I'm happy with the result. Most of that race was one, two, three for Fords. And uh, my teammates, you know, they we made plans at the beginning of this thing to uh, if, this, if if bad things happen here, we have options. And uh, they executed that. They hit they hit pit road where they knew they would gain time. Um, and, you know, throughout the course of the race, it's like, hey, all right, so you gain some time right there. Probably might be an incident in front of you. Uh, might be, um, you know, somebody might get a speeding penalty or whatever. And um, yeah, like I say, I uh, I've done pretty damn much everything that I could do in this position right here for uh, that that lag. It, it don't feel good. I, everybody in here knows what that's like. Um, I saw a lot of people like, you know, there was like out a lot of people, but something you can't fix. Hopefully they give us a little better server space here pretty soon. And we don't have to worry about that crap no more, but we all know it's product of game. Um, we, we changed the settings on this season fry. As you know, we didn't want people to come in here and well, I, this is my setup. This is what I run here. We wanted you to come in here and do something that you ain't used to doing and get out of your comfort zone. And I mean, seriously, six cars going for one spot for 30 laps is, that was pretty fun for me. Yeah, I enjoyed watching it. And the, and the good thing you did turn off damage because, you know, some of those like spikes yeah. were really screwed some people over. But uh, yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed that race tonight. Congratulations with that finish, man. You guys look really good as a team. You three cars were really fast. And I think all three of your cars are going to be, you know, those three cars are in contention every week. And then Grid is going to be there too with an eighth and ninth. I mean, you got – what, you have full, five in the top ten, which is really good. Your we team is coming good. along. Yeah, I think we so all ten. Yep, that's gonna be yeah, fun to watch. Cool. But yeah, I mean, hey, like I say, that was a total team effort. Um, I I'm super proud of the team that I'm on. Uh, we literally went in there with that goal. The only goal we didn't get, uh, one was the shotgun, and I oh I got the pit that didn't. 
he's a little boy that cried wolf too many times. Shotty is, you know, last week at Watkins Glen, he was messing with us there, said, oh, I didn't get a lap. And then today he did the same thing. I told him I ain't believing it. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, just, I mean, I had a, I had a phenomenal time and I hope everybody had fun. Tempers get hot after these things. People say things and stuff. I ain't mad at anybody. I'm not. I'm, I'm really proud of everybody. It's something different, something that we ain't all done a million times. And I think y'all did a hell of a job. All right, well, we're going to get grid for an interview. Uh, good race tonight, dudes, and uh, good luck next Thank weekend. You. Yeah. All right, grid. Sorry. Um, I didn't realize that we oh, you're that. I didn't realize that Fry didn't interview yet. Hold on, my internet's taking a – my internet literally just dropped off for a second. All right, we're good now. All right, so um, you get a solid top ten for your team tonight. Second week back in it's win it. Yep. Uh, does it feel good to be back in the groove of in it's win it? Uh, I don't think I'm completely back in the groove yet, but tonight feel good. Um, you know, some things happened early that kind of got, uh, a couple of us behind the eight ball and, uh, you know, towards the end of that first run, uh, when we finally had lined up, we were, we were catching the front pack. Um, and then it was just came down to strategy, um, you know, pitting early to, to try and gain some spots and, and we did. And then just, uh, you know, keeping the 22 car in front of me. Uh, it, it, but, but, but it did feel great to be back. You know, but would I like to have a better finish, of course, but I'll take a top 10 considering. Well, um, obviously, not only did you come back, but you got to come back and be on a team with uh, two guys that you've raced with for a long time. And it's when it deeds and closing. Mm -hmm. So uh, what does it mean to be able to be on a team yep. with those two guys? Well, it means the world to me, you know, I mean, I haven't, I haven't played this game in easily six months and, you know, I, I had stepped away and, and retired and, uh, you know, just to get a, a message from deeds or, you know, party invite and get a message from closing, um, in the same day, which I, I kind of, you know, knew what was going on with that. Um, although they said they didn't, you know, collusion on, on talking to each other about it, but when I get a party invite and a message from closing within an hour, you know, I kind of, something was up, and, uh, you know, they kind of drug me back into it, but it, it, it felt good, man, it felt good to be out there, it was good, ra it was great racing, you know, it was some good racing that was going on. Good to hear, um, we'll send it to Rainey for any questions he's got, another long time in a 20 driver. Real lot, man, glad to see you back in it to win it, man, um, do you think at the very beginning, um, the little—I don't know if it was like a little lag spike that that uh, <laughs> that uh, split the split the field in half? But do you feel like if you was in that that first <laughs> half of cars, do you think you would have been able to compete for a win? <laughs> um, I I don't know if I could have competed with a ten car, but I definitely felt that I had a car that could be a top five. Um practice was good all week the car felt great all week um so yeah i mean I, I don't know if i could be closing i don't know if i could beat the 10 car um but i felt with everybody else i was i was right there you know closing throughout the week when practices would would do some things that i don't really think anybody else was doing with making passes by himself so you know he he was obviously dialed in for this race and, and had it ready to go so and uh, whenever you were back in that second that second group, did mm -hmm. you did pitting early with the twenty two ever cross your mind, just to catch back up with the the ten to fourteen oh, and the oh. twelve? Um, yeah, actually, that's what the plan was. So, I mean, we were we were talking about that with like as soon as we came to lap forty, and we knew that when the pit window was going to open, that the the initial plan was to come in on lap fifty, and then. They said they were going to come in a lap 50, so we actually short pitted our own teammates uh, to try and gain some time. And unfortunately, I had a 16 second stop, so I wasn't able to get to the 22's bumper coming off pit road. Um, and so that cost me a little bit, you know, because we weren't drafting right away. Um, but that was definitely the plan was to to short pit early uh, to try and gain some time to catch back up to them, so we could kind of all work as a team the best that we could. Got you, man. Well, glad to see you back. You know, eventually that rest is going to shut off and you're going to be up front co consistently again, man. And uh, I hope the, I hopefully it starts next week for you.
appreciate it, man. All right, Fry. Yes, sir. Uh, Gridlock, it's good to see you back, bro. I mean, what's your opinions on this in it twin at roster this year in season nine? Uh, I mean, this roster is pretty stacked. I mean, from from top to bottom, from everything that I've seen, um, everyone races really clean. Um, everyone's super fast. It's you know, I've only seen two weeks of it, Watkins Glen, which is not my my better track, especially on default setups. But Vegas is one of my, my better tracks. Um, and just throughout the practice all week, like, there was really hard racing. Um, everyone kind of did what they were supposed to. There were some crazy moves from time to time. But you got to try that and with the low draft package, you know. It was so hard to pass at Vegas, unless maybe you made a crazy move at times. Um, but the, the roster top to bottom is solid, man. It's It's a good group of guys. Everyone knows what they're doing. Um, e- even the new guys coming in that have not been in it to win it before and, you know, kind of understand the, the culture that, that we have had here for such a long time, you know, they, they get it pretty quick. Of yeah. We like to have fun, but at the same time, man, we're all business, too. Sunday's different than you know, practices, when it, though, right? Right, right. Yeah. When it comes to race day, man, it's, you know, there's not, not as much joking around as, as it is throughout the week. And it, and it, you know, is a little more serious, and but, but they're getting it, man. Uh, you know, all the all the new guys, and I'm not in parties with all of them. But you know, to hear a guy say, "Man, I'm pretty nervous about this race," that means a lot for everything that's gonna been be, built. That was here. gonna be my next question. Like you're over there with the OGs now. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got two rookies mm-hmm. over there, really. You know what I mean? You're gonna bring mm-hmm. something to that yeah, table, yeah. and it's gonna be really cool to see. You know, with closing and D's, worrying about, you know, you're. you're you you are very valuable. You're going to mm-hmm. make a hot one better, and I feel you're going to make Prodigy better. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it's fun seeing I you will. back. So I hope I hope I can contribute. I hope I can contribute oh, in that will. way to to help out with that. And you know, today tonight, just being behind Prodigy in the 22, it was just about you know trying to keep him focused. And hey, man, and you hit your mark. I'm going to be right behind you. I'm going to push you the best I can. And we'll we'll deal with what we can. You know, we're split up. We're together for the rest of the race. You know, so we got to make the best of it. And I, I felt we did. You know, five cars in the top ten, in the top nine. So I I also see you. You know, hot one sometimes needs to be. Uh, you know, what I mean, chill out, just run. You know, and you're that. We're closing up there, and D's up there trying. You know, you guys are all going to be fighting for it. I can see you mm-hmm. being a mentor too, even mm-hmm. to hot one. So. It was a pleasure seeing you back in the track. You guys did really good tonight. I mean, those Chevys were there too. There was no Toyotas up there. Thank you. It's kind of sad, but no, was, I you know I was, I was, I was a little yeah I was a little confused at the the Toyota strategy when uh, when we peeled off and then the the Chevys I don't think were too far after us and then some of the Toyotas stayed out. Like as soon as we saw some of the Toyotas stay out, we're like, well, that you know that kind of goes there their shot because they're going to lose too much time so but you know it is what it is and and we all we've all been there before of you know maybe misjudging something so but i appreciate it guys yes sir all right we're gonna wrap this thing up um final thoughts on the race for me uh it was a fun race it was definitely had some excitement um for a relaxed caution race, a lot of action the whole time. Uh, closing soon gets it done. Congratulations to him. And um, yeah, we'll go next weekend. Uh, where do we race next weekend? Either you know. Friday, you know where we race. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I wasn't here. Uh, uh, I think I it's Gateway. Yeah, Gateway, and I think that's uh, Constance double points. He gets all his drivers get minus two, like you know, divided. So it's like if you get four, you get two. And we got to pick a race this year as an owner. The other two picked the last race, Daytona. Fifth constant pick picks the next race. So he needs to actually have some strong performances to get back in this owner's championship, I feel, at this race. All right. Well, uh, Fry, what are your final thoughts on this race? I mean, it's good. I liked it. I mean, maybe what do you, what do you think? Maybe two cautions should have came, or maybe one. I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, Rainy, do you think cautions would have came out tonight? Uh, at least one should have came out, but 
Yeah, I think so too. I wish. Uh, Brainy, what are your final thoughts on it? Well, I was wrong about the cautions. <laughs> uh, I was wrong about the cautions, but but I was right about whoever pitted first would win the race, and that's exactly what happened. All right. Well, um, we're gonna wrap it up there. Uh, thank you to everybody who tuned in tonight. My internet's going bad again for some reason, but. Uh, thank you to everybody for tu- who tuned in tonight. If you guys can even hear me right now with my internet, I might be laggy. I'm not sure. Uh, but it was a fun race. Stay tuned, though. We're going to raid somebody really quick before I go to bed, uh, before we get off here. Uh, but, yeah, thank you to Rainy and Frydog for getting in here with me tonight uh, for the second week in a row. Hopefully, I see both of you next weekend. Uh, I know for sure I should see Frydog, hopefully. And then Rainy, I'm not sure. Hopefully, we see you next weekend. I guess we just got to find out. We'll see. Guess. All right, well... uh. We're going to do a raid really quick, guys. Um, let's find somebody to raid. Let's go. Who's streaming NASCAR Heat right now? Anybody streaming NASCAR Heat? We're going to find someone to raid really quick. Everybody in the chat, stay tuned so we can raid somebody. We got... Wow, what's up with this I recently? It's on Friday night. Fry, are you even there? We got one guy streaming NASCAR Heat and he's got no music or no noise. I don't think. Oh, yeah, he does. Wait. Does he have a mic, though, is the question. I don't know. We'll raid this guy. I don't know if he's got a mic, though. He does have a mic. We'll raid him. All right, guys, we're going to raid this guy really quick. Um, shoot, I gotta get his name back. Warzone God. There he is. Alright, see you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Tune in next Saturday night, 12 a.m. Eastern Time for Gateway. Okay, so I've, I forget how a raid works. I think it's like we all switch to his stream. Okay. We're going to go start rating them now, guys. Alright, so I think my stream's, like, done now. I'm not positive, though. Fry disappeared. So, did it let me raid him is the question? These guys are on PlayStation. What an L. I think is Fry Fry are you there? You ever come back? Yeah, he's still in the Discord. So that's weird. Just seeing if you were there. What? Hold on. We got Sally Sandbagger up here. CJ's trying to sandbag them all. Yeah, and all the tracks. You guys go around. I'm a boss. You guys go around.
gonna play block or roll blocker now. Trust me, team. Trust me. So it does give you some go, tracks go, to start go, with. Go, go, go outside, go outside, go outside. You gotta stay outside, Chester. What are you doing? I'm trying. Do you have to own all the cars? Well. <laughs> That's gay. Yeah. 